Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father, Kevin. And today we are covering an artist that uh, I like a lot, and you seem to really like a lot. You haven't heard too much of his uh, discography, other than veteran and, and scaring, scaring the hoes. Yeah, yeah. But you, uh, you seem to really like uh, uh, JPEG Mafia like as, I, a, as, I, a, as, I, a, as a person. As a person, and I also highly respect him for what he does on that SP machine. He's, yeah. he's not using it anymore, but Matt, to work out of that machine, you got to be talented. And you've been uh, really into some of the stuff that he's samples. Uh, yeah. You really like some of his influences. Uh, he's talked about it. Was it in the the Nardwar interview? The Nardwar interview in Malibu. He talked about uh, Skinny Puppy, and uh, I have a very close friend who. Uh, met Bill Lieb, who was Skinny Puppy. Mm -hmm. They became really good friends. They moved into um, a starting frontline assembly. Uh, Reese went on. His Your name, buddy. Yeah. Reese, Reese Fulber, the producer. He went on to create um, Conjure One and Delirium. And if you haven't seen them... Uh, anyways, so I spoke to him uh, recently, recently and I said, I, I can't find a vinyl. He's on tour in the United States. Now he's in Europe. Uh, a few days later... Something comes in and <laughs> in the mail. <laughs> yeah, in the mail, and it is it is uh, Conjure One's. Uh, it's called C One. He calls it C One. Conjure One's first album. It has uh, it has uh, da -da 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 some, some, some great, great songs that I actually grew up listening to because you were friends with Reese and yeah, you, yeah. you played this in the house. Um, so I actually, you know, have some history with yeah. uh, with a little a little bit of what JPEG Mafia listened to. I know I don't know if he listened to Conjure One, but Skinny Puppy. Yeah, Skinny uh, Puppy. Yeah, and uh, I just thought the connection was really cool. Cool. Like, yeah, I think it's such a really cool connection. This was Tears from the Moon was recorded. Um, Tears from the Moon. Let me get that straight. Was recorded, uh, and I believe Reese was in LA at the time, and uh, Sinead O'Connor was in Ireland, and they used the uh, probably talked about it before, but they used a satellite. Yeah, to record to the record vocals. it in real time, which was fucking amazing, man. That's uh, that technology that's is crazy, right? Well, that and what year is this from? Do you this know? one is uh, two thousand and two. Mm -hmm. Covers. Yeah. Can I see it? Yeah, the covers. Um, very cool. And I just want to say is it's uh, this is the forty five RPM heavyweight 180 gram sand colored vinyl it's heavy like i actually put it up against some other that's one yeah. record oh that's just one in there yeah it's not a oh no it's a gatefold i think oh, is it a gatefold yeah it's a gatefold but uh you're saying there's only no oh, maybe there, it's no, two there's, there's two okay that makes sense then. yeah it's a does because i'm like that thing's heavy no yeah there's two um with because it has three bonus tracks on here okay um and oh cool it's got his name there reese Fulber, but uh, really cool album artwork. If I can, yeah, it's very shiny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, I haven't opened it yet. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I was waiting. It just arrived. So I know we got. I was just sniffing and, and it, listen right? To it um, together. Yeah. But uh, yeah, JPEG Mafia. This is his third. No, four, it's technically fourth. I always think Veteran is uh, his debut, but I know he had a project before that. He's yeah. had, he's had mixtapes. This is one of his projects that came out yeah. uh, about two years ago, I think. I think it's 2021. Um, I am very familiar with the first five or six tracks, uh, and then I kind of just haven't gone back to it. I did a full listen when it came out, uh, and I, I really go back to the, the fi first five tracks. Love them all. Yeah. The other tracks I just haven't gone back to as much, but um, I did do a re-listen the other day while I was walking. Uh, I went for a walk listen to it front to back uh so i'm more familiar with the uh the first half of front the record, half yeah uh but i with the second half not as much we are doing the offline version because i know everybody would be mad if we did the uh the online version which i understand we why uh, like why they would be mad it's uh not what he intended he, yeah. he put it out uh and it was like didn't have the samples yeah. cleared and certain songs didn't make it. This is a different version. It's a little longer. Um, some songs made it that, uh, yeah, he couldn't clear the sample for. I think I, we were, I was telling you about it uh, on our tea walk. It was, uh, was it Anita Baker, I think? Yes, Anita. Yeah, yeah. There's Anita Baker sample that wasn't yeah. cleared uh, till later. So this is the version that he envisioned it to be nice nice so um, so what happens when the, the sample is not cleared it doesn't go or he fills it with something else 
uh, well, for the song I'm I'm referencing, that one, yeah, yeah. It just he just wiped it off. Oh like, wow, okay. Put it on the album. Other times, artists will you know have to just get rid of the sample. Yeah. We look at a record like Faces, Mac Miller, uh, when his family got it onto streaming. There was one sample that they had to not, they couldn't use it, so they had to kind of recreate a similar sound of oh, what really? it, yeah, of what it sounded yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was for Diablo, yeah. the song Diablo. Um, huh, interesting, but, eh? Yeah, this is what he wants us to hear. This is the yeah. one that is that is supposed to be. This is the one that we our Spotify just went down recently, like literally ten minutes ago. It wasn't loading, and then I checked Twitter, and everyone's like, "Yeah, Spotify, my my Spotify is down." down so yeah. I said, "Fuck," but we were like, "It's a sign that we're doing the right album today because he has it on Bandcamp, and yes. you, you can pay what <laughs> yes. pay you want." So I went and downloaded it, um, and then by the time I was getting it set up. Uh, through Apple, I, I don't like using the the MacBook for Apple's. listening to music. It's yeah, kind yeah. of weird looking. Um, but by the time I was done setting it up, Spotify was back online. So we uh, we have it the way he intended. Yeah, you know, I just want to throw something else here while we're talking. Here is like last night I went for a good walk with my good friend, bass player Grant, and we were he he was over for a jam a while ago, and I showed him Harry Mack, the, the hip hop the guy, the freestyler. Mm-hmm. So he's infatuated with him now. He's like he's watched every video. He can't he can't figure out how he it comes off the, his dome and just yeah. it, and he starts starts spitting stuff right. So he's like, well, what do you like? And it was it was this was the first in, real interaction I had talking about hip hop. Talking about hip hop from my point of view, from how you started the yeah, journey with, with me, with right? One of your older friends. One of my older friends, and it was really fucking wild because I was spitting some good stuff out, man. <laughs> it was like I was saying, like people just that don't because I played him. What I played him was surround sound, right? By JPEG, Jid, right? Or not JPEG, but uh, Jid, Jid, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you, you check out this, like, so we're walking, and I crank it up, and I play. I said, just listen to this, like. And he's like, ah, I just don't get it. I, like, I said, mm-hmm. I said, are you like, what? What do you get out of 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 um, him, uh, Mac or not Mac, uh, the guy, uh, the freestyle. freestyle? Yeah, yeah. What do you get out of him that you you don't get out of this right now? And he goes, well, it's just he, he's just off the dome, sort of, and people throw words at him, and it's just that live creative thing. I said, yeah. And then I was like, okay, th- this is what you need to do. You need to start with an artist, right? Mm-hmm. Which I would probably like to do for him, right? Yeah. Start with an artist and and I started to explain how many different styles of hip hop there mm-hmm. are. We're there's, about to go into one of the weirder ones today. Yes. But uh, there's so many. It's such a, a yeah, you, you know, you can't huge just go and, and he's like, I can't believe that you he goes, you're so into this. Like, you listen? I, I listen to it. I drive. I fucking... All I've, day. You fall asleep to it. I fall you. asleep. I listen to hip hop. I, I, I wouldn't have done... He goes, oh, man, I find it so hard. Like, there's no melodies. I go... But I'm trying to explain to him, too. It's a different feeling. You have to understand when you get into, into hip hop, you get a different feeling in your body than rock music. It's, mm. a, it's a fucking... It's a... Well, that, no, it's but a, it, but even then, there's di- a, there's different types of hip hop. Some hip hop makes you want to do that. Other yeah, yeah. other sides of hip hop make you feel uh, there's like a yeah, inf- I, infinite amount of feelings. feelings. That you yeah, get. I know, I know. You know, I, I get a totally different feeling listening to a Kendrick record than I do a Metro Boomin record. Yeah, yeah. But they're still placed in the same genre for most people. You know, you, yeah, you think yeah. about it in the, in the same way. Um, I think the best way to introduce somebody, like say your buddy, for example, get him into Hip hop is is yeah. Pick an artist yeah. that you think he would resonate with or he would appreciate, you know, style. Yeah. So if he's like a jazz player, I'm gonna. Uh, you you know, know what I'm starting with 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 Grant. To pimp a butterfly. To pimp a butterfly. Yeah, I was gonna say you go with to pimp a butterfly, yeah. and uh, I think from there, then you branch out. Yeah. And then you know before you know it, look two years later, you're like yeah, fucking yeah. listening to Death Grips, JPEG, Mafia, uh, yeah. whatever. You, you know what? I, Metro I, I, Boomin, I, I gotta, Travis, all on your own yeah. time. I know. I gotta say, I I, I pat myself on the back sometimes because it was like I was spitting last night. I was I keep saying spitting because I, I, that's that's my new word, right? Yeah. I was saying, um, uh, all these artists like it just right off the top of my dome. I'm like. Oh my God, JPEG and and uh, Death Grips, and Danny Brown and Freddie Gibbs and Jid, and, Jid and, like I'm, yeah. I'm naming all these and I'm like, fuck, I know them now. Yeah, you know so many. I know so many. I didn't Tyler, know. Earl, Frank, Frank. You could just yeah. keep going, right? Kanye, yeah, Jay-Z. Benny the Butcher, fucking. yeah, like all these artists. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, no, it's a crazy journey you've been on, and yeah. uh, I'm excited to, to keep going. Track number one, trust. You think you got me? 
Nice. This is fucking great already, man. <laughs> wow. He gives me he gave me shivers on nice, eh? Yeah. I'm feeling nice. Okay, I don't think he was using the SP on this thing. No, I don't. Uh, yeah. This sounds fairly like a DAW. Is this the feel of the album? Yeah. Fucking great. <laughs> that was that great, was great way to kick off the. Record. That was a lot different from veteran. veteran. Yeah, oh, for, for sure. Yeah, that, it wow. has a different mix and just Completely. where his vocals sit and everything. Wow. Yeah, you can and his his throat is deep in there. It sounds good when you just hit it on the head. What did I just say about five minutes ago before before we filmed? Yeah, before we were filmed and I was making a cup of tea. I said, "Fuck, do I feel." Good today. Yeah, yeah, and that's the song. Today. That's the song. We, <laughs> yeah. I'm reading the lyrics. Yeah, I'm like, feeling good. I'm looking fresh. I know. I got a new suit. I know. <laughs> go to work. And praise God. <laughs> no, it's like fucking walking down the street and it's sunny. And I know. I've played that song because it's short. It's like two minutes. But yeah, I've, yeah. I've played it like probably fuck it. I'll go for a walk and I'll play it like six times in a row. Yeah, just... I'll just be smiling like walking. <laughs> I'm not wearing a suit. Great, I'm... great production, Peggy. Yeah, really, yeah. really good. I was thinking we might come into this and have a bit of grime and dirt. And there, there's some later on. Yeah, yeah. But uh, just the, I love the way he starts this record off. Beautiful, beautiful. The clarity was just unmatched, man. It was so clear, and then the the deep and stuff and going in there. And, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it was sweet. All right, right we'll keep going. Uh, track two, dirty. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yep. I was just talking about fucking Luther Vandross the other day. His mom's cool. Salad. Yeah. Little Skippy. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
I love the clap and the drums. The bow there? Yeah. Look at that lo-fi there. Was that it? Yeah, yeah. There's, that was it. There's a little bit of sound at the end, but then it goes into the next track. Um, yeah, the, the short, the tracks are short. The shorts are tracks. <laughs> the shorts are tracks. No, the tracks are short, uh, but sweet, and they've got real great production. You know what I like about that is because it 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 is short and sweet, and it's fucking done easy really to, good. Easy to digest too. Very easy to digest, and if it went on anymore, it'd be like again. He knows how to keep it concise right mm -hmm. and get his point across right um there was dirt in there like that, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what i'm what, saying it was is a little more dirty yeah uh, yeah titles dirty but uh, yeah, yeah. a little more dirt than uh the first track yeah for sure um you can hear the influences that he's talked about uh right away yeah yeah for sure yeah you know what i, I even heard some uh i heard a clank in there like an industrial clank that reminded me of uh um the, People are people now. What do you see, Depeche Mode? Oh, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. A kank. yeah, Depeche Mode, Nine Inch yeah, yeah. Nails, Skinny Puppy. Fuck, uh, I think that's great. great uh, artists like that yeah, yeah. mixed with hip-hop is, is such a, a unique yes, path yeah. that he's carved. And, and he kind of talks about it a little bit on this track, just about like his you know own... Just, yeah, what he's yeah. done and, yeah. and, you know, how people are... Uh, like he talks about on this record and in other songs as well, like just how he's paved his own way yeah has which, anybody else it's like okay i know we talk about the big guys right in terms yeah, of like yeah. jpeg and danny and all, that and all that but is there somebody else copying him is there well anybody? i'm sure there's there's smaller artists for sure that have like yeah, yeah. kind of adapted and and, and felt uh, or used influence from not copy from, no not copy, not copy but yeah, yeah. He gotten influence from his uh his style yeah um but uh not many that i know of at least not in the mainstream i'd say yeah. i'd say jpeg is probably one of the the more you know well-known yeah uh out of the you know kind of experimental underground hip-hop scene yeah yeah there's a lot of artists and a lot of great artists too uh but he's yeah definitely one of the ones that kind of rose up high in yeah. terms of uh just from it like popularity uh, yeah, yeah i don't want to say popularity because the the numbers are still you know they're nothing like they're no drake numbers we just did drake yeah, yeah two yeah, days yeah. ago yeah, like yeah. He's, he's not pulling in drake numbers but his name you bring him up in a conversation with a cat like someone that's relatively into hip-hop and they'll know who he, who is. he is yeah 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 you know, I found trust to be, um, and I'm going back a while, but I found trust uh, to open the album was like Hacker closer. For, yeah, it, for Death Grips. Because uh, I found Hacker would to be the to be the most sort of like structured, more poppy on that album. Yeah, on the right? Money Store. Yeah, and so this here, this opening with Trust, it it was very similar to that. Yeah, and then we've eased into the second track. It's a little <laughs> bit dirtier, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're sort of going backwards for me. There, there's a lot of variation. You'll see us yeah, yeah. as we get into it. We'll go to the next uh, track. It's called Nemo. Like the, the like 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 the fish. Like, yes. Like the fish? yes. <laughs> I like Nemo. I do too. It's a good, good film. Yeah, I I didn't watch the other one, Finding Dory. You know what? I ne I didn't even have. The you urge. know why? I'll tell you quickly here. I don't like going backwards. No, you don't like prequels. I don't. Pre I can't stand prequels. I watched Monsters University. I'm like, they should have went forward. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they didn't go forward with Monsters Inc. Like, I know there's, there's so so much you could have done. That yes. could have that could have been a trilogy easily. Toy Story was great. Um, I haven't seen the fourth one. I don't know if that's good. No, I don't. I, uh, I don't. I have no interest. I uh, tail off after a while. The Incredibles. They did it fucking way too late. If they would have came out like maybe a couple it years was, after. Yeah. Uh, but it was like forty years, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something ridiculous. Yeah. Like in t fifteen years or something. Um, what are some other ones that they've like gone back on? Uh, there's a good amount. They, the they, Nemo they, was. They've never done Cars. Cars is weird. The trilogy. There's oh, a, I've, I only saw the one. I've never gone anywhere else. Yeah, apparently I haven't watched the other two, but apparently the second one is like completely unrelated. It's like about a spy. It's like a spy movie. Is it really? Yeah, with yeah. cars. And then the third one is apparently okay. I saw. Sorry, I saw the comedian last night on um, on TikTok. I was watching a reel, and I'm like, okay, what is this guy? Anyways, he's the comedian. I I should have his name on my head. He's comedian guy, big southern guy with a hat on, and anyways. He was a, he traveled around. You'd know his name if I said him, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, he got a call from his agent to do 
uh, a, this Pixar movie. And they said, check your fax machine. So we went and checked his fax machine. It was from John Lasseter, I guess it is. The, yeah. the, and it was like, hey, we want you to play this character, this tow truck. Oh, that's the tow truck guy in Cars? M- Mater, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, he, what's his name? I should know uh, who, who it is. Yeah. He's, and anyway, so watching him in the interview, and he started fucking bawling. And I, I, he was emotional about the role? He was role. so emotional about the role. He went in and tested mm-hmm. with John. John gave him the, the what to say. So he went and he started spewing what he said. He goes, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he did it with the southern drawl yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, like Mater has. And then he didn't hear from like seven months. And he's like, fuck, I didn't get the part. He talked to his agent. He goes, what happened? He goes, oh, no, they're rewriting the whole film now. <laughs> Because they want Mater to have a bigger part. Really? Wow, yeah. Because of that impact that he had on... That's crazy. But he was crying, and I'm watching this grown man, comedian guy, he goes, you don't understand. It's like, it's Pixar calling you. Yeah. And they give you the job. Like, yeah, no. Like, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Though. They, I didn't know they had to rewrite stuff for him. That, yeah, they wrote... Yeah. Similar to uh, Breaking Bad with uh, Aaron Paul's character, Jesse. Oh, that, did they? Uh, he was supposed to be killed off in the first season. Really, but they, but they loved the chemistry he had. Yeah, no yeah. pun intended. Chemistry he had <laughs> um, with uh, what's his name? What's uh, uh, Brian Cranston? Brian Cranston. Yeah. Uh, together, they, they were like this. We can't. Like we can't. Kill they got to continue. Got, yeah. And he made it to the end. And then he had a. He was in the spin-off series yeah, as yeah. well. He made an appearance. He uh, had his own movie. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of parting into Breaking Bad, like he was probably the most important character by the end of the show. Wow, that's amazing for the writers to see that. They were like, you know what? We got something, something's brewing here. Yeah. We well, got Well, that's the thing with TV and, and lots of different kind of artists is things evolve over time. And and I know we're going a little bit of a rant here. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I'll, I'll sum it up quick. Yeah. Um, mistake with How I Met Your Mother TV show, uh, mostly familiar with it. They wrote the ending... Uh, in season two because they didn't want the kids that he's telling his kids the stories to to, yeah. to be older. Like, okay, if this show's going to go on for 10 seasons or nine seasons, yeah. um, the kids are going to be fucking old. Yeah, so yeah. we got to record the ending now. Yeah. So, but then, so the ending made sense if it happened in season two. But by the time they got to season nine, all the characters have evolved. There's new storylines. Things make more sense with yeah, other yeah. people. Yeah. Better chemistry with different characters. Uh, but then in the last episode, they like, how do we get back to the season two finale yeah, or yeah. season two ending? So they had to fucking just rush one episode and basically rewrite the whole story to get back to that. And everyone yeah, yeah. was pissed about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so it's just, yeah, how things evolve in, yeah. in TV and movies. Uh, how did I get here? Nemo. Oh, Nemo. Okay, sorry. Okay, here yeah. we go. <laughs> we we literally we went full circle. We went on a long rant, uh, but I'll cut that out for YouTube. We landed. Uh, ba- we landed back, back at yeah, Nemo. Yeah, we're back at Nemo. Track three, Nemo. You think you know me? Downtown, shotty, put gas out. Only set niggas up, I don't back down. Black M rolling around with that K out. Every time I look down, I'm clean. Yeah, got it on me. Big gap, bell bonds and a wrist slap. I see niggas try to doze on this new tech. Fucking your bitch like I'm back for no good. Fucking your bitch like I'm going on a tour. Fucking their head and my best, I won't go on the ocean yep. like Mabel. Yeah. The floor. We can't relate. Bitch, I was poor. Empty the safe. Money on your floor. All of my songs are this. I might just go try to hit. They know that's when you well spent. Yeah. yeah. Hold up. Fuck it. Nigga, they're home with what? You gonna keep pushing your luck if I aim for your head, better hope that you duck. Nice. Fucking that bitch like I'm back from the war. Fucking your bitch like I'm back from the tour. Fuck on me, baby, you know I'm a whore. I pistol whip her so we know that it's war. I ain't even have to show up in court. Dropping the case, got a drop in a jaw. Shit. I'm choking on the song. <laughs> nice synth. I love the down. Mm-hmm. down. Fuck. I'm going to war. Fucking that bitch like I'm back from the tour. Got me, baby, you know that he born. I feel like AI in the wind. I'm just warm. I can afford it. In the ocean like Dory, the shark get sorted. Nasty.
Did you hear feet or is it here? Yeah, I heard someone. Oh, it was walking. feet. Yeah. I thought somebody. I thought it sounded like somebody was on the keys and then in the studio and someone was walking up. No, that, I wouldn't be surprised though because he's uh, he's always throwing in cool sounds. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Uh, another like solid track that's just like it's you can't not appreciate what he's doing because the, it's just so yeah so unique and yeah yeah like him yeah like, like I'm just picturing him programming that that ending piece there yeah like all the the snare or not snares the the, the hi hat uh, they weren't I don't think they were hi hats I don't but they, know. whatever yeah. they were um the t- 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 yeah they, they were so I was trying to catch like a melody to them but there really wasn't they There's were just no, all over the place no. but you know what it's 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 done in a way that it's not irritating yeah like it's and I I was just going to say these are like for me that like a song like that it's like again I'm going to go back to digestion right it's mm-hmm. so easy to digest because it's done in such a concise way, two minutes, what's that? Fucking 212, 215? 207. 207. Two minutes, and it, I, I look at it like this. I look at it like a short performance piece. Mm-hmm. You're going up on stage somewhere, and somebody just comes up, and they do... A quick... A quick, yes, they come up, and they just... And then you have the next person coming up. Yeah. And it's 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 nice that it's done that way. If that song went... Or like quick, click slam poetry. Like someone yes. comes up, does does their thing, and then they're off, and the next person's yes. up. Yes, and you for that two minutes and seven seconds, you're fucking... Totally you, invested. You're totally invested, and you're watching, and you're like, wow. And then you, you've got a little bit of a break, and the next person comes on. Yeah. And that's how it feels. It just feels really, really good. And I think that if we push this to... Fucking three twenty-five, or yeah, or something longer. I mean, yeah, fuck, it's well, getting there. A, a thing that I, I don't know, you know, I don't think JPEG's watching, and and so it's up to the viewers to let me know if you guys feel the same way. But I think a record. Uh, I don't know if I don't. There might have been records before this, uh, but to me, I think Mad Villainy had a huge impact on the way certain records like this are formed. That are like. You know, twenty tracks long, but all the tracks are short. Very short, yeah. Um, because you look at Mad Villainy, it's a similar. I think it's twenty-two tracks, and uh, they're all short, but they're they feel like you know one person coming up performing something, yeah, and yeah. you're on to the next thing, and they're they're all yeah. you know kind of all over the place, but they fit together yeah. in a way similar to this record. You know, everything fits together, but it's each track is its own thing, but you kind of have to listen to it all together. You know. It's interesting. You you know what you're bang on, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit on the on all for all the dogs, but for all the dogs was over an hour and what? Is hour and twenty something? An hour and twenty something, and I think that the this album is so much easier to take on because of the well I don't know I'm saying this fucking couple songs in four tracks three tracks uh, three in, tracks yeah. in I might go fuck this is tiring, <laughs> but it's um because of that small those small things yeah I'm gonna say eating okay. Okay, we'll go to eating. You eating. I've been to lots of Asian Chinese restaurants growing up uh, with families. And what we did, it was probably three hours of eating. Yeah, you spend a long time, but you take your time we one dish at a time. One, di- one, one. one dick. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> you take it one dick. <laughs> was this in the back kitchen room, like behind the restaurant? You guys at, would do this? This is at a rub and tug. <laughs> Holy fuck. No, they bring green beans. Yeah, they start with your green beans, and we get green beans, and then we all share them, and we had a drink, or and then, whatever. Then you wait for the next dish. Then we then they brought hot claws yeah. for us to clean your hands, clean and our stuff. hands, and then we sit there and we walk, we or chat and walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys go in the kitchen, so using the walk. No, and then the next one, and the next one, and they were all small little meals, and we yeah. really never got full. Yeah, and we never got tired of it. Yeah, right. Is this, well, that's is, is this working here, or am <laughs> no, I just no. fucking shit no, in the that, bed? No, and you're you're right. Uh, <laughs> specifically on the never getting full part, because that is the stereotype with Chinese food. You, <laughs> yeah. if you're hungry like fucking ten minutes later. I, I don't know why that is, but the way we ate at the round table, and then you just brought the food, and it was just nice, and it it just it worked, right? When you have a really long, you have these long songs and long albums, it's like eating a lot and you're sloughing your way through and you're starting to get tired because you're like, fuck, I'm full, but there's more. There's yeah, more? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, no, keep I, eating, I can't no. have any more, man. No. I'm getting tired by this. So it's like, yeah. it's like, anyways, let's, let's get good to Good comparison. No. Was it a good food yeah, analogy? I liked it. Uh, next one is end credits. Or it's track four at the end um <laughs> you won't get this reference but i saw somebody tweet they said this song like fits in like an old school call of duty sniper montage and i was like as soon as i heard that i can't get that out of my head it doesn't mean anything to you because you don't know what i'm talking about so yeah but but you know i I'm quickly very quickly i'm not gonna over talk is that 
you brought Connor brought me to a strip club last night. <laughs> yeah, I was playing GTA for fun. I got I re-downloaded GTA. I'm redoing the story mode. So, but 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 he brought me to a strip club and we went in, in a private lap dance. And then he told me that my wife brought him to Best Buy to get this game when you were what? Twelve. Twelve years old. Yeah, because I couldn't buy it without mom. Yeah, so mom you had, were going. Mom had to buy yeah, it for so me. Yeah, so. I was not even going, I was too busy doing life in that. I wasn't going into strip clubs, but you were actually in the bedroom. Virtual strip clubs. Virtual yeah. strip, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and it looked fairly decent. Yeah, yeah, the graphics aren't bad. Yeah. You know, I was blowing a lot of money. Um, <laughs> anyway, track four, end credits. You pull up to a red light. A man jerks your door open, says, out of the car, I'm taking your car. You say, okay, take it. Just don't hurt me. You know what I do? I pull out the Glock, put it on his forehead, and spill his brains all over the concrete. Wow, great. Look at that. I love you. This is fucking great, man. Yeah, that's cool. I like where he sits in the mix too, vocally. Yeah. Like he's off in the distance. Fuck, I dig the mixture of that the guitar sample, if he's sampling it. And that, and that, just everything going on, there. going on there. That was too short. Yeah. They talk about Chinese meals and stuff like that. That I, that, I would like. This should have been a large plate of like. Yeah, that was like that chow was mein. Like, that was like two uh, like uh, shrimp dumplings. Yes, and I would like. Wanted like a I would like full event. chow mein on that. That yeah, got me like my a guitar that, solo in there. Or that something. got my blood going. You know what's crazy is that it, I know that he was he's a he's a veteran, mm -hmm. and. This song here would be, and I, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'd ever, I'd, I'll, I would ever make, uh, uh, just with all my problems in my life, but I would never make being in the military, right? Yeah. With my physical issues, right? But I could see this being one of those songs where you'd have to go, like I would listen to, um, just to, because you know you're going into bad territories and shit, yeah. and you have to get that adrenaline. You can't listen to. You can't listen. Well, or to you go the other way, listen to really calm stuff. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably a better approach. Yeah, honestly. you know what? You're right. Yeah, because you don't want to be fucking. It's all fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. You want to be calm and. See, I would have been killed. Yeah. Exactly. Seriously, <laughs> this is why you're not would, in the military. Yeah, I'm running out in the field like this. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> um. No. Cool track. I do wish it was longer, but yeah. you know, it, it's a thing. It's like small little. Uh, no, that it's great, that man. I, I I love that. Uh, I love that they're short. Track five, Hazard Duty Pay. One thing I know about this. Anita Baker. Is my love, love making music, Anita <laughs> Baker. I think you know me. Oh, God. I'm See how deeper she is? Yeah. So, so cool. Like the dream. Yeah, what you want? Uh, tell us the fake 
I would have never thought that sample would fit. Yeah, underneath there. This is like this completely organized chaos. Yes. Hey? It's a great way to describe it. Yeah. Look at that. That growl? Yeah. With the sample? Right here. Wait, fuck. There's that fucking growl. This is the growl. That was that is my favorite track so far. Yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. You know, you you listen to the sample and you think how this how is someone gonna do, do something over top of this? And he layers it underneath there, and that hook he's doing his flow and he's fucking he's, he's fucking spitting, going and going, and then you sometimes I'm it's still going. It's, it's not like muffled in the back, no, or like how you would assume it would be. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, like like pitched down and then you know hidden and yeah, then yeah. him wrapping over top. No. no, it was right up with him. And the I got time. and I got to say another thing that was very very interesting to me is that I love the where the, the position of his vocals and the reason I like the position of his vocals. It forces me as the listener to really stay in tune. If I didn't have this, mm-hmm. boom, right? I'm he's in there and I'm really forcing myself to really listen to what he's saying. Yeah, he doesn't let you sit back and just relax. No, no, no yeah. And I have to right, fight for it. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's like it's yeah, no food analogies, but um you have to really, really concentrate on the on on him when he's singing. I was just I found myself just going like, okay, I'm listening to you. I'm reading, but if I wasn't didn't have the lyrics, I would just be going. I'm like fighting. closing your eyes and fighting to, to yeah. keep up and listen and to, to listen to him. Yeah, because yeah. there's and like I said, organized chaos. That's exactly man. Like it, it's it's like it's. That like, should be the title of his next record. Organized chaos. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's you know what? It's like it's it would be like people running, right? And all this shit happening, but everybody knows where they're going. It reminds me sometimes when you I think you've showed me some videos of like India or or countries where um, people are going down the street like there's no yeah, rules. There, yeah, there's there's some wild driving going on and there's, and there's, like this, but it's somehow it's working yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, like we don't see them where they're getting squashed, but there's mo- <laughs> mopeds with six people on their yeah, heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And all that kind of shit. It's going like this, and it j- and it, you know what? It's flowing and it's working, yeah. right? So to me, it reminds me uh, if I go. I've done this many times in video games, where I'll be like, you know what? Fuck it. I, I'm after uh, after this. Uh, I'm just gonna close the game and go out. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go do whatever. Uh, like I'm not gonna mm-hmm. care about uh, you know if I die early. Yeah. And then so I'll rush in somewhere, and, and for some reason, you know, everything will be working out. I'll be I'll be I'll shoot a guy over here, and then I'll duck and I'll miss. Yeah, guy yeah. And then I'll shoot yeah. things, and I'm going through this thing, and I'm like, oh fuck, it, nothing's happening. Like there's chaos, <laughs> there's bombs, but nothing's hitting me. And I'm like, holy shit, how did this work yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's because maybe it's because I go in there. With no stress. Yeah, yeah. You like, just, no, sh- I'm like, after this, I'm done. I'm going yeah, yeah, yeah. to leave. So then I end up being okay. Yeah, yeah. Which brings us back to the meditation and the war. So if you're yes. going into the war with uh, uh, fucking being all jacked up on whatever. You know and- what? I, I'm i really curious to, 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 to hear uh, and read about soldiers because th- you brought up a good point. I was like, I would listen to Judas Priest or, or something heavy. Something to get you but pumped. You, but you, you might want to just go... As calm as possible, like listen yeah. to like Buddhist chants and, and shit, and really work on your breathing and shit because you're re- you have to be aware. Like, yeah, I wouldn't want it because you're yeah you you know what you're so right. You might want to be totally quiet, like mellow in your soul and your vibe and all that kind of shit, right? Yeah, that's what I would assume. I I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I haven't read anything. Any yeah, military books. I'm not in the military, um, but I'm just assuming. Uh, anyway, track six. God don't like ugly. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> no, I think that's really. He's just being uh, blunt about it. Yeah, know, God forward. don't like ugly. Track six, God don't like ugly. Be blessed by. Probably spot your pride and shock when you put that pen to pavement. Y'all can keep that thick ride, no need that. Cause real niggas only feel you when they see checks. These days the bar's so low for weird shit, had to stop sharing. I'm so peerless. Beast get you off your bum ass like Baron. White boys be on their burners who they think they scaring. Black men who hate themselves don't like what I be sharing. Steady bumping niggas who don't own what they be blaring. It's apparent. You niggas got failed by your parents. Look, Kimber. Stay on my side like Sharon. Cut your season off as soon as you get to Aaron. God don't like ugly and just look how you appearing, nigga. You bitches all blue nose. No Harold Melvin's facts. Look, I get it. Y'all need an image. I don't care about talent. I know that you won't admit it, but you love my styling. Got a clip at one of my shows. You see me free and wild. I'm a young Frank Zappa. Y'all Sarah Palin. Just simple. <laughs> no balance. Some niggas is washed up. Y'all need a leader island. Everybody can be Beyonce. Bitches be wildin'. Somebody gotta be Michelle. I guess you ain't surviving. Huh? Shut your normie ass. Oh, yes, Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's very short track, like if a the, minute and twenty. Yeah. If if the previous track, Hazard Duty Pay, was were okay, I've just gotta have to say that God don't like ugly would be like an an acid trip on an empty stomach. <laughs> because I it was like it happened and then I was just I was literally fucking lost. Like And then yeah, gone and gone. Then now we're back to reality. Yes, yes, I, exactly. I, I do like uh the topics he covers on there. Like it, this one is more of a So fast. Yeah, it's it's less focused on the instrumental though. Uh, whereas I feel like Hazard Duty Pay was very like, you know, really Yeah. You were getting into the the sample, the drums, the bass, all that yeah. and, and his vocals. This was more the the instrumental took a backseat for this. I felt it was more lyrically focused yeah yeah um i love the line i'm a young frank zappa you all you're all sarah Palin. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. i thought that was a great line here um but yeah short track we'll go to the next one so we uh you know we don't want to spend too much time on all the on the shorter ones okay um what kind of rapping is this you got it yeah what is this seven yeah track seven what kind of rapping is this I think this is a. Is it? You have lyrics for this? Yep. Oh. What? Uh, no, I don't know. There's one that's on, uh, instrumental in here. I don't think it's this one then. It starts with wrist, 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 wrist. Mm. I'm not sure how okay. he's going to do that. Can I guess? Wrist, 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 wrist. No, no okay. I, I remember this one. Wrist, 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 wrist. Ice, ice, bitch. Look at this shit. Is this going to be one of those moments that I get fucking ball knocked possibly I don't remember this track completely pretty meditative right now <laughs> oh, okay it's always different it's always a fucking weird looking at the lyrics first yeah nice ah so nice Fuck. <laughs> Sweet, I love it. Holy shit. Oh. This is fire ass, man. Listen to that. <laughs> oh, those rolls. Yeah. Oh, he took it away. Uh, are you feeling me now? Big dog, 
make a follow the script like a when I'm back in the house. Uh, little bitch, I've been rapping like this. Barry and Barry, I'm taking a hit. He carried the cross, I carried a clip. Like, what kind of rapping is this? I pray to him for a sound. Like, please don't deliver me now. Weak men always got so much issue with me. It just happens, it's bound. Uh, little bitch, I've been rapping like this. Covered in money, they thinking I strip. My papa's a ghost and my partners ain't shit. I rap like I won't probably slip in my wrist. You won't fall with me, splitting your way. Say a few words, jump back in the pit. Great bottom end. Fuck, I love when they growl, eh? Is he going to bring back that? There we go. Yeah, as soon as the this came in, this part I remember because this track split up into different parts. Yes. That it? Yeah. Oh fuck my ass. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. That was real. That, yeah, it, one of one of my favorites uh, f- for the drums on there. I, cool. I absolutely love the drum mix, and then I love how it. Great production. It's got this great uh, drum pattern going on, and then I'm. You know, you're already like, "Fuck, this is great." Yeah. And then he just says, "Fuck it, I'll do another one." And he brings in a totally different one. And I know. It's, uh, you know, it, yeah. And the way it starts, I like I said, I haven't gone back to this record, uh, you know, much since it came out, other than the first like you know few tracks I have in playlists and stuff. Yeah. But uh, as soon as it came back on, uh, I was I was a little confused in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Because it was you know that was cause those synths and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. As soon as it was the uh, the sample came in. I was like, oh yeah. Fucking this. really, really, really fucking great drums. You know, to take a chance on, um, and I've said this before in, in uh, I think I said in Veteran, is like, is taking a chance and, and doing these things is the real, real, real artist. And, I, and I'm not dissing other people, but when, you know, there's a, there's a safety zone and you can stay safe. Yeah. Just stick with this. That's <laughs> well, this is good. We're doing good. No, no, chit it up. Fucking change it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, some, some of my favorite records take extreme risks and and I just, you know, become addicted to them. Yeah. I, I think every record up here I put uh, you know, has taken a risk. Uh Yeah. Yeah, even the M&M one, I'd say. Yeah. Um so it's one of my favorite things in in music, especially yeah. when it's an artist. I mean, JPEG, you go into his projects at this point expecting yeah this kind of style. But I love when an artist who is relatively just kind of sticks to their guns and, and doesn't take too many risks yeah, yeah. eventually does take a risk. risk. And then you really notice it. Yeah. You're yeah, like, whoa, what was that? Out. It was crazy, um, right? That's one thing with JPEG is sometimes you might, you know, hear people uh, just, you know, not... I don't want to say underappreciate him, but um, he's just so good at his craft that yeah. you forget sometimes that like you know how how great it is and how fucking hard it is to construct that. Yeah, yeah. Like to really construct that. See, you know what's freaking me out now is that I figured that we would start off with trust, and that would be sort of the the, the sonic element of what was this album was mm-hmm. doing, right? Totally different, right? Yeah. Um, but it didn't go there. Yeah, and it was like there's elements of that first track. I mean, yeah, with, yeah. with some vocal parts and stuff. Yeah, but, but the, you know, the clarity was the thing for me. Like that, that, that was like, wow, what's where? What direction is he going? But you know what? He's he's so, he's stuck to his guns of where he's where he places his vocals and stuff yeah, like that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the the I don't know. Maybe we'll get we, we got how many more tracks? We got to go. Uh, we got like twelve tracks. Left. Twelve tracks. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, yeah, we're almost half. We're almost Lick at ten. my balls. I uh, will just keep going. Okay. Um, Thoughts, prayer is the next one. Okay. Track eight, Thoughts, Prayer. Nice. Great sound. See, to me, those don't sound like samples. Those sound like he's played them. I don't think those are samples. Yeah. My loneliness is killing me. 
inside I must confess I still believe and try Yes, I My loneliness is killing me inside I must confess I still believe and try When I'm done with you, I lose my mind Give me a sign Where to smile Fuck, little things, man. Those hand claps. Yeah, at just adds a couple so of much. times. Yeah, I am relaxed yet. Taking a break for these albums, I'm gassing. Yeah, my skills is past that. They talking down, we've been looking right at that. They think I can't match that. Peggy too real for these games, I blew past that. Talking about smack. Hey, you niggas ain't this shit about it, was that? Are you thirsty? Are you lost? Are you dumb? Bitch, where you at? Come in San Diego, all on this map. You lied to the Lord and you lied to these apps. Your man got the two-piece cause you'll get the mat. Don't stop lying. I get stuck in the past, get to crying. Then remember my path, get to rhyming. It doesn't get better. I like this, Josh, man. Yeah. This is a good album, man. I must I still believe and try. I think I want to talk to him. Just have a chat. I just want to have a chat. I, I'll, I'll bring it up after this, but. That sample with that 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 the, real soul yeah, high, a, and it's just thrown in a little thrown bit. Thrown in, it's really great. This shit gives me. I've got shivers up my back. <laughs> it's it's so, it's so artistic, man. Fucking great. Wow, that was that was a piece of artwork. Yeah. I oh, love it. really, really good. I gotta just gonna throw this question out. And and and, I, and Peggy, if you're watching this, I wanna know if when you're creating and you're going, do you first and I have a little bit of a uh, a musical um I don't know if it's if it's it's it, I got a little bit of a musical thing that happens when I'm trying to write mm -hmm. and I'll come up with I'll do something very, very quick. Yeah. And then I'll I won't go that direction, right? Mm -hmm. I think, I think what comes in his brain, yeah, at the first shot, he puts down, and he just goes with it, and goes with it. Like, and I don't mean that in a bad way. He not, not. I, I think it's a natural thing. Those three claps in there that happened didn't happen again ever. It yeah. happened. It was over here, and then one over here in the left ear. Those are instinctual things that just happen when you're making music, and you go, "Oh fuck!" And you I feel it. And you, I, I feel I, it. I need a clap here. Yes, and yeah. you, and, but you hear it, and you're making the music going. I was on a yeah, yeah, like, and you hear that. Like he's he's obviously super rhythmic, so he's hearing these snaps and stuff like that. And I think he's one of the guys, people that just goes, "I'm putting it down. It's going to be there," because he just, doesn't repeat yeah, it and not not overthinking it. Not ex that's which the, is what you tend to do with your music. I'll you overthink know? it for hours, then I'll go. Oh, it should maybe should this I have four claps? Should I have three claps? Should I even have claps? Yeah, and should I keep those claps consistent? Yeah. But he only put a couple of claps in there, yeah. and it's just like, yeah, really, really, really smart artwork. And you know what? He, and I'm not dissing other people who because there's every different style of music, right? Yeah. But I put this in like, in in like. Uh, in, into like fucking artwork like I look at I look, I look at Picasso and that kind of stuff and I said it's, I've said this before I guarantee it is that I look at it in, in like abstract art mm -hmm. and I'm, I get amazed that like and you go oh I could do that easily 
Yeah, right? when, and, when people say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. easily. You're like, oh, I got, fuck, I could just slap that shit up. Well, try it because yeah. I've tried it and it doesn't work, right? <laughs> yeah. I've tried it musically. I've tried it on paint, and it just, I'm sure there's people that listen to JPEG uh, that hear it and, and they're like, oh fuck, man, he's just throwing together random shit. Like, yeah, you know, no, any, no, anyone can do that. No, I can just open up a, a DAW and just throw in a sample with some drums and claps, and then boom, and make it some distortion, and yeah, and yeah. you got a song. There you go. It's easy, but no, fucking no. Try, try doing it. Try. try do- hey, fuck. I try every night. <laughs> Not you. I'm talking to the oh, people that complain. Get, yeah. yeah. How do you get mad uh, at to me? the people that say like, oh, what do you, you know? If it, I've seen people say it's like, you know, it feels uh, like just put together quick, and it's you know, anyone can do this kind of style. No, like, no, it's it's no. thought out meticulously, and yeah. it's yeah, like, but but I'm not saying that the, those little claps and that that are not thought. They're I think they're felt. Yeah, they're felt. And he then, just has that natural instinct in them, so. and then they're then they're acted on. Yeah. So it's like you know you're sitting there going, I'm gonna do that. So and yeah, and then you, yeah. you you add that in there because you hear that in your head. Yes. Right. As as an artist, you hear the claps, you hear the horns, and you go, maybe there's a trumpet here, right? So he acts on it. I think he does. Anyways, I'll, if we ever get to chat to him, right? If you ever if he's ever in Vancouver. Yeah, and he wants to sit down, maybe you know, with uh, some other people like maybe us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, last time he was well, not last time he was here. I don't know when he was here last, but I was supposed to see him live. Uh, he was opening up for uh, Injury Reserve. Oh, okay. Uh, but he was sick, so it was uh, it was sad because the Injury Reserve concert was amazing. Yeah. Uh, those guys uh, were they put on a one hell of a show. And JPEG uh, opening would have been crazy. Yeah. Uh, this was, I don't know what year this was. What venue? I'm just curious. Uh, Fortune. Wow. Yeah, it was small. It was That's really, tiny. It's yeah. like this size. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got a video. I, I took a picture with Groggs and, uh, yeah. you know, he, sadly he passed away. Yeah. Uh, he was such a sweet guy. Like, because he, uh, he was right at, you know how Fortune is, the state. You can just yeah, yeah. walk right there and people left after the show and there's a few people talking. Yeah. And I got to chat with him just, uh, this is when I was doing some producing stuff. Like, I was trying to get into music myself. Yeah. With, I was with my buddy Ayrton at the show. Yeah. And uh, I just chat with Groggs, um, and I was asked for a picture, and then I asked him about the. I, I was I was a kind of probably an annoying fan, but they they uh, they probably are used to that. I was like, Yo, yeah. you guys got anything cool coming out? You're working on anything? And he was just like excited to talk about music. And oh, he was, cool! He was just such a cool guy, and uh, yeah, man, that 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 law still still hurts um, because that group. I know I've shown you a couple songs, but they yeah. I haven't really shown you deep into their discography yeah, if yeah. we start at their the beginning and go to their last record yeah it's it's a journey and a half and uh sadly jpeg was sick that day i think yeah or he had i don't know there was some reason he couldn't perform he rescheduled for vancouver uh for a solo show and the tickets were sold out and i couldn't go yeah uh and then i don't know if he's been back yet but if he is back i'd love to go see him live because yeah. uh, i heard he puts on one hell of a show as i well. think he likes vancouver i i, I got that from somewhere that he he, he he likes Vancouver. I don't. Know. I don't know. Well, yeah. maybe, we'll see if he uh, if he comes back at some point. Yeah. on tour. But next one, are you happy? Yeah, but I'm feeling. No, I'm not asking you. Oh shit! Track number nine. Are you happy? Yeah, you're with me tonight, Whoa! Hey, some. There will come a time in your life when you will ask yourself a series of questions. Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with the people around me? Am I happy with the people around me? Am I happy with what I'm doing? doing, doing. Am I happy? This reminds me of fitter, happier. Am I happy with the way <laughs> yeah, on radio. Radio. Okay, computer. Do I have a life? Do I have a life? Or am I just living? Or am I just living? Do not let these questions restrain or trouble you. Just point yourself in the direction of your dreams. Find your strength in the sound. Okay, that was once, right? Yeah. That beat. Another one? Okay. All of my music is mission impossible. I make these dogs believe in it. Yeah. Practice be thinking these lines are deplorable. They just be mad because I ain't for the man. Mad because I ain't for the man. They just be mad because I still got respect. Even when I got my foot in their weight. Bars feel like I'm in their room. Crackers be yelling out into the next. Living the deal. Settle for less. You can tell Craig I'm double the back. 
It's hard, it's easy to hate. Spoken up play, I get it. But homie, I can't relate. These all fans beats got me blown the face. I'll be doomed to the bill and I'm raised. Giving these beats to pussy in case it's only. I love that R.I.P. Doom through the villain I'm raised. Yeah. Not gonna rattle this nigga, young pack in the clutch on the Damian Lillard. I made it out poverty richer. You heard one of my songs and got triggered. We ain't got the same type of issues to text green. Are you jealous of men? Uh, original, you gon' have the aquafina that I accent if you wanna trend. All of my hate come from weak ass men with their weak ass hoes and their woke ass friends. I come into truth, I make them go bitch. I'm betting these incense to me with the clips. Dirty. I love how he uses the sample as like kind of a chorus in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the sample there, that whole, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that right? Well, and the, the woman's vocals, I don't know what they are, where they're from, but this part. Oh, yeah. And then that Memphis style sample to the right. That's the that's the thing, right? Over yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real cool mix of all different really sounds. Really cool. I fuck. I love how he's. I love his unconventional timing of things, which is like, I would never do that. And I love that. Yeah, but then it still feels like there's some type of like forward momentum that you can groove to. Yes. Like it's not yeah, yeah. so like offbeat that you're like, what the fuck am I doing? Like I, I can sit there and I can just kind of move well, that's, to that, it. That's and... that organized chaos. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's off, but it's like, it's, you're going forward. We, we also, we, we got the, the, the doom line. I was going to grab my ring, but I, I had a ring here. Oh, here it is. I, oh, wore, you, I, yeah, I wore it and I couldn't get it off. Oh, was that the one that you tried to put on earlier? Yes, I got stuck. Oh, okay, yeah. I had a bit of a panic. Yeah, I have an MF Doom. I've got two, actually. This is a gold one I bought off Etsy, and then I bought another one. Um, I, I love my, my MF Doom ring. I, I told you, I remember when they showed up. I'm like, is I, I you, you had them out? You, after, you were confused, right? I, no, I didn't know anything about anything. Hip-hop or... No, and I'm like, what, what is... I thought it was like, is this a fucking culty thing? Yeah, like I'm joining some weird cult. Yeah, and they have to have that <laughs> ring. I'm like, what the... Yeah. F I saw it, and I'm like... But now you understand now the, understand. the significance of Doom and why he's so important in the uh, oh, yeah. experimental hip hop scene oh, big and time. Yeah, the boundaries yeah. that he pushed. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So he he was uh, he was something else, and uh, you know, like I said, Mad Villainy I think paved the way for certain records like this. You yeah, know, you, you, with those short tracks that are kind of condensed on their own. Yeah, um, but it's good to listen to the whole record, which is like kind of like this, like. There's certain songs on here where, you know, I'm only going to listen to it, you know, when I'm on a doing a full listen. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna go back to uh I totally agree. You're not gonna just jump back into I'm not gonna go on to God Don't Like Ugly and just like play that randomly. The only one I really play like, you know, on my own in a playlist is Hazard Duty Pay and Dirty. Yeah. yeah. Love those tracks by yeah. themselves. But the rest is like it's just you know when I'm when I want to sit down and have a cool experience I'll put on LP from front top to, to back yeah, yeah top to bottom. No, I agree. I agree. That's not something I'd just jump in on. You put it because first off, you've got to be in the mood. You've got to have that. Yeah, yeah. You want to be in that mood to listen to it, and then so w while you're there, the tracks are short, and you have to listen to them in its entirety. I think. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll keep going. Uh, track ten. It's featuring Dat Piff Mafia, which. Uh, I'm not super familiar with. I don't know if that's. I don't know what who Dat Pit Mafia is. Dat Piff is that thing, right? That website. website? Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I think is it Alter Ego or is it? Uh, does it say on there? Um, it's loading. I don't remember the, <clears throat> this track very well. Uh, so I'm trying to think if it's if it's an Alter Ego or if it's an actual feature. Um, part of me wants to think it's an Alter Ego. Okay, ready? I, I got it now because I went to LTE. I think it might be our Wi-Fi. The hype song features Dat Piff Mafia, otherwise known as en Enso Sinatra, who was Peggy's old rap friend when oh, okay. he released under the name 
Devin Hendricks. That okay, pip so, is so a it rapper. Is, yeah, so okay. It is an actual feature then. It's not JPEG. Yeah. Because I know J. Cole did that on his, one of his records. Uh, it, what was it? I don't know the name, but he had a rapper featured, and it was just him, his alter ego. Yeah, yeah. He had it listed as features. Did he change reason. his voice or anything? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, track 10, Rebound. I love how this I love yeah. that yeah. Keep on a line. This goes really hard, eh? Yeah. Very aggressive track. Yeah. Grit in this, yeah. Love the grit, like. I got a lot of sensors on here. In the lyrics, yeah. I don't, like I don't know what was underneath. This here. Well, this feels like a track that deserves to have its three minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. Like the other ones, like we said. Yeah, were yeah. Like, oh, it's nice to be short. This one feels like it. It's earned its right to yeah. be. A lengthier one. Listen, like that is on like some fat old hi hats, really heavy. Operate. Hear the fucking ring on the bell yeah. of the hi hat? Fuck, that was great. Rebound. Rewind that thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was fucking aggressive, and it was really good. I love the dirt in it. What's crazy is it was it was dirty, and it had that ag aggressiveness to it, but it wasn't, like, loud. It, yeah. was, it wasn't like a, you know, I, I don't think of, like, uh, like a black skinhead Kanye. Yeah, like, it was. It's not yeah. like... <laughs> no, no, no. But it's it's got this power to it each uh like yeah. you know time it, the snare comes in it's got this punch yeah yeah um but that's what's great you could be quiet yeah you could be quiet but have power yeah exactly like especially can, through the lyrics yeah, there, yeah. you said there was a bar that you wanted to ask me about yeah no yeah, i hear a dog barking at us and i'm not i'm freaked out right now it's the the ghost of the drake album <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> what was it won't leave us alone all right wait let me just let me see if i can pull up the bar here quickly it was uh 
I did do 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 get some rules and um full metal jacket. Uh, yeah, it was during Dat Piff Mafia's first, I think, right? Was it? Yeah, you said yeah. It was like right after the Full Metal Jacket. You said I got a question. I got to ask you. Oh, I can't find it. No. Oh, well, Anyways, I'll come back. Anyway, um, the dog is bugging me because she's right out the door. I should yeah, just let her in. I don't know what she wants. Uh, the next track is a uh, instrumental. Um, I and then that's we're past the halfway mark. Yeah. Um, so let's listen to this in- instrumental. And then we'll take like a quick break. Change the battery? I, I think I want to change the battery. Yeah, we're low. I can I'm see. not, I don't need a long break or anything. I just want to change the battery. Yeah. What, does it, what does it say? Can you see it? Uh, I can't, there's a dog barking. And I don't know why we're at 40%, which will not get us through. Not through the rest of the record. No. So we will have to change batteries. Uh, but let's just listen to this instrumental. Um, it should block out the dog barking, or maybe the dog barking will make it better. That's true. Yeah. Um, Sampled vocals are by Young Dolph, just to let you know. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Um, it's the 100 emoji. Okay. So it, it's like an emoji. Does it say 100 emoji or does it have the actual emoji? It, it has both. It says the 100 emoji and then it says 100 emoji. Yeah, because it, it is the, 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 yeah, it's just the emoji. Of like that's the actual okay. track. But yeah. then when it's listed on here, they can't put emojis on Spotify. Yeah. So, oh, like okay. Bandcamp, it has the emojis for every track that's emoji called Flame Emoji, 100 Emoji. It's just the actual emoji. But here they can't. Here they, they can't put it on Spotify for some reason. Yeah. I, I don't know. So but, they have to write it. Yeah. So anyway, um, track 11, 100 Emoji. So this is an instrumental, so if you can feel free to spit all over it. Just start writing. Well, they're singing, right? I think it's, it's probably a sample. Yeah. Yeah. You can rap if you want. Okay. Yo. So he just has that going. This, that just, yeah. This is, you said, young doll. Yeah. Oh, actually. I'm curious on what does it say? What young Dolph's song he sampled? I'll check it out right now. It says. I guess I could talk over this, right? Yeah, does it sample 100 Shots? 100 is a track composed of vocals from 100 Shots by ah, Young Dolph. 100 Shots, okay. Pitched to a lower tune and given a new beat, Jay Pike has previously name-dropped Young Dolph on his 2019 record, Cornball. All My Heroes Are Cornballs. Peggy also sent an RIP message after the rapper's untimely passing in November of 2021. I like that little bit there. Is that continuation? Yeah, it's yeah. almost done. I actually have a lot of questions about this track because I, I haven't <clears throat> gone back to it since, like, you know, came out. Yeah. Just because it's the in- instrumental and I don't really, I haven't really dug deep into it. But now that we're sitting here, I've got some questions. I've got some questions too. And we can explore those questions together. Do you think... Uh, well, you go ahead. Oh, no. Uh, I, I've heard that instrumental because I've listened to this record a few times front yeah. to back. Uh, but I haven't really paid attention. I didn't even know it was Young Dolph, actually. Yeah. Uh, then as soon as you said it's Young Dolph, I immediately went to uh, 100 Shots because it's 100 Emoji and he's yeah, got yeah. a song about 100 Shots. Yeah. Uh, it's called 100 Shots. Like 100 Shots or 100 no, Shots? No, Bullets. Oh, Bullets. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that would be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. Does it have context on, on why? Because I... One, no, it doesn't. One record from JPEG, you told me that it said... He 
talked about. He name dropped him in 2019. In Cornballs, yeah. That's one record from JPEG I have not really, other than like two songs, I don't know. Really? Cornballs, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know LP, I know Veteran, uh, but I haven't listened to, and Scaring the Hose. Yeah. Uh, I haven't listened to uh, All My Heroes or, or Cornballs other yeah. than like the singles. Um, so I should check that out at some point, but I'm curious if it's uh, paying uh, homage, homage to him because... Yeah. Uh, I know he. Pa- I believe he passed away, Young Dolph. Yeah, uh, it says. Yeah, he, yeah. He, do, you, do you know when he passed away? At tw- uh, November twenty twenty one. Okay, so that was after this, or that was that would have yeah. been after the release. But he says this. Peggy also sent out a RIP message after the rapper's untimely passing in November of twenty twenty one. So I don't know because this came out in October of twenty twenty one. Oh, okay. so, so a month before he passed. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if this is. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it's paying. It's not paying yeah. homage because he hadn't passed yet. Um, can can you you mind queuing up that hundred shots? Yeah, just yeah, I'll show you. Just like you like to I'd like book, to hear it because this is this is tu- this is tuned down. Yeah, my buddy and I used to listen to this all the time. Um, it's about him surviving. Uh, I believe it's about him surviving. That's uh, a nice sound, eh? Yeah, like a shootout. Did he die from shooting or no? I actually don't know. Oh, I gotta look that up. Stop! Wow, lots of nice. I bring me some back woods up out of home and a cup of ice. And some rubber bands up out of too, home. Yeah. It's 3 p.m. 80 degrees outside. I'm in something to go real fast sitting outside the corner store. Six figure car ain't got no business in this area. If it ain't one thing, it's a motherfucking nutter. We trapped together, then that's my motherfucking brother. I pay her bills and bad designer, but I don't love her. She just play a part when it's time to smuggle. I pull up, pick up that bag and burn rubber. I got a sweet tooth, but I stay away from suckers. He has no boo and Malibu was my last good voice. He's a good voice, but he's brought me into the story, man. Yeah. He set it up. I know that he was at the corner store. I see yeah. it all. Screaming, gang, gang, gang. The folks come and get you, you gon' tell on the whole gang. She said, can she fuck me with my diamond shine? If I ain't in the bank, then I'm on the plane. About to go get some money or go spend some money. They stopped me in the airport, had too many binges on me. They don't want you to live. <laughs> they don't want you to bow. <laughs> don't push a smile in your face. Yeah. Then they pray for you to fall. Hey, young nigga, stay focused. Yeah. Fuck, I, I love how it's building, eh? Yeah. Think about where you at. Okay. Then think about your past. Right. Yeah, I really came from shit. Yeah. But I won't change for shit. Nah. My bitch say I'm stuck in my ways. Yeah. My wrist say I've been getting paid. Yeah. A hundred shots. A hundred shots. Me and my niggas pull up in a hundred drops. <laughs> My role model used to get a hundred blocks. Hey, hey. Street niggas in a tuxedo, we the mob. <laughs> she looked at my watch too long, now she see stars. Blah, blah. I got so high last night, I did a show on Mars. <laughs> I like that, bro. <laughs> I my dick, I caught her on them bars. My pinky ring, extra large. Yeah. Phones all in the garage. Wow. Remember my first Menard? Yeah, yeah Toy and Britney. Yeah. I'm shopping for diamonds at Tiffany's. Tiffany's. No, I don't got no sympathy. No. She blew my whistle like a referee. Hey. Broke black nigga, remember me? Hey. Until I found out that recipe. I Started fucking like this guy. <laughs> yeah, this is, I don't know much of him, but uh, wow, wow. song, but I used to play this shit all the time. Weed. A hundred shots. A hundred shots. A hundred shots. How the fuck you miss a whole hundred shots? You not welcome in my trap if you don't shot. Get out. So he didn't get hit. No. How, how the fuck you missed with 100 yeah, shots, Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That's, that's the story, I believe. Yeah, yeah. At least that's why I heard from my friend. He's the one who showed me this track. This fucking man. Wow. Came out with six bitches. My uncle said that's pimping. My diamonds always hitting. You looking for your bitch? She with me, nigga. She ain't missing. I told you, fuck nigga, stay out my way, but you didn't listen. Stupid ass niggas. Big rock. In my watch. And we put extensions in all of the clock. A hundred shots. A hundred shots. How the fuck you miss a whole hundred shots? 
I'm adding this to my playlist. You should. It's I good love. Song. I like this. This is so. Well, I'll tell you. But I'll tell you my experience. Okay. With okay. It yeah. Once we, there's one last bar left, and then. Yeah. Young Dolph? Young Dolph, yeah. I wish if Young Dolph was alive right now, I would put him together with Metro Boomin. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Fuck, rest in peace, Young Dolph. That, that fucking song, man. Can I just tell you what, before I forget? Yeah, yeah, you go. I absolutely love how he started with such minimalistic with stuff, right? And then... He set the he set the story in my head, mm -hmm. and we slowly, slowly climbed to the beat drop. There's a couple of hi hats, and then he brought me in, and then it was just driving me along, and it was just like a yeah. st storytelling that just got better and better and better. And then that's the exact reason why I fell in love with the song. My, yeah. my buddy showed it to me. I don't know, like I really don't know anything about Young Dolph. Uh, yeah. So when I heard about his passing, I was like, oh fuck, that that so shitty. I haven't listened to his music, but I yeah. know that song and I yeah. know about him. Um, my friend showed me this song and, uh, you know, it was, he just told me about it. He's like, just listen to it. You know, he, he apparently it's about, you know, him getting, I guess, shot at or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I, I don't know if it's exactly a hundred shots, but. I'm going to pull it up um, while we're talking here. Anyway, he survives this shooting yeah. and uh, he makes this song where it's, yeah, it's, it's minimalistic at the yeah, beginning yeah. and it just slowly builds to a climax at the end. And I was, the first time I heard it, I was like, holy fuck, this is, it was in my playlist instantly. Yeah. And uh, it's the only Young Dolph song I, I've heard. I, I'm sure I've heard him on features, uh, but I I do love that song. And uh, so then when I saw the JPEG reference, I automatically went, it's probably that song that he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Do you have the song pulled up? Yeah, it says the, so the King of Memphis. From Memphis. I didn't know he's from Memphis. King of Memphis Returns viciously on the second studio album addressing the february 25th incident in which over 100 rounds were fired at his bulletproof vehicle however this hasn't stopped the king in the slightest and he is still rapping ab about his everyday lifestyle in a way only he can deliver that was just on the, that was the track 100 yeah. shots it's a it's a it's a like amazing song i i've loved it um you know it's it's funny because this was I, I you know found this song way before the channel yeah uh, so I I heard the song I was like oh this is dope I'll add it to my playlist and I I listened to it but now that we've kind of really gotten into f listening to a whole artist discography and albums I'm like why haven't I checked out his his like a full record yeah yeah like I loved this track when it came out yeah why didn't I listen to like other shit that he did yeah yeah um but so i'm curious now i'm actually gonna after this video i'll probably go check out some young Dolph. i need uh, to know i need to know right here because he, he did his first fucking his first uh threesome right yeah uh was tory and britney so was that was he talking about uh britney spears and tory spelling britney spears and tory lanes Tory Lane? <laughs> Who's that? The, the guy. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The Toronto rapper. He's in prison for shooting Megan Thee Stallion or something. You oh, know, oh you Tor don't know Tory Lane? Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay. Well, then the, joke, the joke's not that funny then. Um, <laughs> okay, you want to take a break and, and get this yeah, battery let's, changed? Yeah, let's get the battery changed. But uh, yeah, cool instrumental. And I'm, uh, that's cool that we listened to the whole song, actually. I was, that was, I was really just going to cool. show you a snippet, but as soon as I got back into it, I'm like, I can't show you a snippet. I did, you know what? If you, I would have had to put... I would have had to start it again because yeah. it really had me, man. He, he said it and the car is pulling up and he said something about the car. This shouldn't be in this fucking neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Cool track. We'll be back in five, four, three, two, one. We're back. Got tea. Yep. We're a uh, pretty short break there, but we're ready to go. Um, track 12, OG. You want to pull it up? Yeah, I'm just looking here. Am I getting the shit version or something? I had to leave, that's why, because I went to go look at... Uh, Young Dolph. Yeah, and it's there. It's the one with the liquor store. There it is. <laughs> it's called hey, o I looked it up. He, he, uh, he, uh, Young Dolph passed away in shooting. Um, 2021. Yeah, November 17th, 2021. So. Rest in peace. Uh, I will check out one of his projects. If you guys know uh, any, because I'm not going to check it out, like, literally right after this video, I'm going to have to put it up, and I've got stuff to do, but... Uh, I will check out one of his projects later this ah! week. What? Sorry. We'll check out one of his projects later this week. If you guys have uh, no one that's like, you know, considered a fan favorite, uh, let me know uh, in the comments. And uh, let's go with uh, 
Track 12, OG. Ooh, nice, nice, nice mixing yeah. with that vocals there. I got a habit, it's not a habit. Feel like a bad bitch, I smack it up. It's a close casket, this flow's master. I'm a whole has been, I know it's tough. What's spitting? This feels old school, eh? A little bit, yeah. yeah with some scratches mixed, mixed with some newer shit. <laughs> this is just ice and human DMX. You know what? I don't know. Yeah. Human DMX. There is a DMX, right? Yeah. I love what they're doing here vocally. Well, oh, that was cool. <laughs> that ending, yeah. Yeah, Ex- yeah, Excalibur. Strong words out there from Jay Re- Big Really great production on that track. I really love, good. I love the old school uh, sample and, yeah. and, uh, and then mixing it with some newer drums yeah. and then JPEG flowing. I know he didn't uh, have the longest verse or anything. It's a sh- pretty short track, less than two minutes. Very, very short. But uh, a fun one. Sure. Very fun one. Can I? I'm just gonna read a little bit. I'm, just gonna, I'm very curious to hear about this JPEG, this Just Ice and Human DMX. Um, I okay, hear it's a sample. OG is the 12th track of JPEG Mafia's fourth studio album LP. The song samples the song "The Original Gangster of Hip Hop" by Just Ice. That should be an interesting track to listen to. The song describes how he wants to quit his label and start releasing his music independently. Interesting. I'm curious uh, if anybody knows. Uh, why he had to release LP early, not early, but before the samples were cleared, and then we got the offline version, and then the offline version, like they came out at the same time. Yeah, just the offline version was YouTube and Bandcamp only. Yeah, and the streaming for Apple Music and yeah. Spotify was the uh, o- online version. Yeah, um, Contra- con- then, contractual. I'm well. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know if he if it, it was contractual obligations because now he's got the offline version on streaming. He eventually yeah. cleared all the samples. Um, anyway, we'll go to track thirteen, uh, which I I don't remember how to pronounce this. Oh, that's Dikimbe. Dikimbe. Okay. Dikimbe. Dikimbe. Um, track thirteen. Dikimbe. Holy fuck! Wow, that's got a lot of treble. Even for my ears, I can't usually hear treble, right? Yeah. Sounds like Spanish here by Maria Toledo. Lots of good bass on the record, though. Great bass. You can sure tell when it leaves, though, eh? Yeah. It's like... Dikembe. Yeah, Dikembe. Yeah. This is really good. Remember 
This part's cool. That's really cool. Listen to that with those little clings, yeah. dude. Then we have Maria. Hit it, Maria. Maria? Maria, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. I guess she's not coming. Maria. Maria. Oh, into the vocals? She should come pretty soon. soon. Says Maria. This is really cool. Here's Maria. Here's Maria. Maria's in the house. Chopped saxophone. Fucking fire! Woo! Yeah, not, that was great, man. Another dope track. Um, does, uh, sorry, go. No, you say. I know. I just want to say. I just want to ask the viewers: Does anybody else find this really hypno hypnotizing? Hypnotic, yeah. And I, then, sort of, you want to just fuck. I could just sleep. I could be in the sun with that on, just going. Well, well that's kind of why um, the second half of the record, I'm not like super familiar with even though i've listened to it multiple times yeah it's because i'll put it on and and just kind of no not sleep but oh, like okay. i'll just you know i'll be driving or go oh. for a while you're just throwing <laughs> ideas out of there hey, those, those are decent ideas maybe i'll try that uh might enhance the experience but no i'll go for a walk or uh, i'll be driving like on the highway and it's just like it's so hypnotic that um you kind of like Close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, when I'm driving, I just close my eyes and just, just zone out. You know, I just, 120. I just make sure it's like a straight line for at least like a couple kilometers, and yeah. then I just fucking okay, yeah, let's just fly about. Um, no, don't do that. But no. uh, yeah, great track. The ending kind of reminds me of uh, you know how it's like, like you said, it's uh, there's very trouble, lots of trouble, yes, um, yeah, yeah, and kind of this a little bit of like a staticky feeling where it's yeah. in and out. Reminds me a lot of. Is it the track you? I forget uh, exactly which track. I'll show you. You? Especially, especially, was Maria speaking Spanish on there? Yes. Yeah, so it rem reminds me of... I believe. I, you know what? Don't hold me to it. I just... it. I'll, I could Oops. read out what it is here, and she said... Okay, hold and, on. Be careful. There's going to be a loud... Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, so you, you know the second half of you on uh, It's a Pimple Butterfly... Because it does that cut, and it reminds me of this in a way. <laughs> this is so cool, the cuts, eh? Yeah. In the ears, it's... Then we transition to him in the hotel room drunk. You the reason why mama and I'm leaving. No, you ain't shit. You say you love him. I know you don't mean it. I know you irresponsible, selfish. You deny you can't help it. Your trials and trippers. This is where I have to introduce your my, buddies. My buddies, too. Yeah. Well, he's got to listen the whole record. Yeah, yeah. You get to this point, and I think he got bottles and he's drinking. Yeah. Like he's got this voice going on. You ain't no friend. That's a real talent to get your voice like that, eh? Yeah, I think where's it coming in? You ain't tried. The second verse here. I know your secrets, nigga. Moon swings is frequent, nigga. I know depression is resting on your heart for two reasons, nigga. I know you and a couple black boys ain't been speaking, nigga. Y'all damn near beefing. I see it, and you're the reason, nigga. And if this bottle could talk, I cry myself to 
sleep, yeah. bitch, everything is your fault. Frost breaking to pieces, earthquakes so near every weekend. Because you shook as soon as you knew confinement was needed. I know your secrets, don't let me tell them to the world anyway, about this shit you think. That and then the, the way that track ends. Fucking, you know, with the, the drunk perspective from the hotel room rapping, and then it no one can yeah. finishes, and then the way it transit. Uh, yeah, you got to show your buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transitions to those beer bottles, and then goes into all right. We gonna be all right. Fuck. I, I, we could do a whole video of us just like re-listening and fucking just talking about. Fuck! It's just. That's a, that's the album you got to show your your buddy uh, Grant. Yeah, uh, from the beginning. Just tell him, listen, front to back. It's it's an hour and ten minutes, I think. Yeah, um, or fifteen, I don't know. But I would like to give him lyric sheets, though. He needs to go lyric sheets. Like lyric sheets, like the way you introduced it me. And, sit down. and when he gets to the end, I don't know how familiar with hip hop he is, but when he gets to the end, and oh, he, he realizes, knows nothing. Oh, okay, yeah, well, zip. Still, uh, it still would kind of blow his mind. I think that you know it, Kendrick is slowly reciting this poem throughout and really Tupac. revealing. At the end, yeah, revealing each track a little bit more of the poem in the beginning, and then yeah. you finally get to the end where he's reading the whole thing to Tupac. Yeah, and that's, that's yeah. See, he he wouldn't understand that because he's not familiar with yeah Pac and all that. But anyway, yeah, but we can smoke some weed and listen to the, the picture of me rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? and show him that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I <laughs> what were we? There was picture me rolling's not even like that that much of a, like a gangster song it's not like uh his diss track like yeah with biggie it's like I'm, i fucked your bitch you fat motherfucker yeah, yeah but yeah. it's just it's got this like this vibe to it um picture do you want to tell them what we did well, yesterday yeah that's yeah, what yeah. i want to say like it starts off like this yeah clear enough for you all right anyway picture me rolling my 500 bands yeah yeah anyway uh I was in the Tim Hortons and you were in the car and you gave me your phone to use Apple Pay because I forgot my wallet. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to fuck with you because there was like kids going to school and stuff and yeah, people yeah. walking by. I think you had the windows down. Yeah, and I, I was like, Yeah. I was like, I'm going to just crank Picture Me Rolling because that's the only one you had saved, like downloaded on your phone yeah. or one of them. For, a, I, for a reason, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and then uh, I clicked play because I thought it was still connected bluetooth to the I, truck I cranked it and yeah. i was sitting in there and then it just starts i'm fucking getting my tea and i'm in line with the phone waiting, and i'm like this i'm like oh you're gonna be fucking pissed at me because i have got control and, I, and it's just and then everyone in the store is like yeah. <laughs> they're like why are you fucking bumping music so loud on your like on a your, phone on your iphone like in line and i was like fuck because it doesn't do bluetooth right no, we have an older truck, so it's so you have to plug it. I in. have to plug Ox. it in. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I, you I, thought you were fucking getting me. I was thought I was getting you, but I got yeah. myself. Anyway, we'll you keep... did get me once on the stream, remember? I've changed it on the stream. Yeah, that yeah. was easy. Yeah, I've done yeah. that a few times. Yeah, you were you were somewhere else, and then yeah, you were yeah. watching the stream, and you fucked with me. And yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, and I was like, where the fuck Conf is this coming from? Confused. Yeah, yeah. I like doing that. Um, we'll keep going. Tired, nervous, and broke is the next one. Um, fuck. Sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey uh, man, sounds like ninety percent of your life. Yeah, story. <laughs> fucking my warehouse days. <laughs> Twenty four years in a warehouse. Um. Anyway, track fourteen. Tired, nervous, and broke. You think you? Yeah, bass is something else on this album. Yeah, Synth I think, bass, I think he bass. programs all yeah, his yeah. bass, I'm assuming. Now, there was the one that sounded like it, it had to been a sample, because it was an upright. Well, it could, there's an upright that you can use in DAWs. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. I'm tired. And you can, you can make it real, sound real good. Why the fuck you said that shit you said if you ain't there? But she black as Ben Carson Back in the bricks I was giving dick to all my sergeants I know you mad cause your friends ain't no jeans And we got stats as big as dozen in my apartment Keep it on the hip on the load of clip and blow the cartridge And ain't the heat at your garments, boy What about that shit you said again when I was broke? And what if I buy the ticket, ticket, beat up at my show? The opposition's sick of me, tired 
This is very linear for a JPEG, eh? Yeah. It's not a lot of... He needs your deep voice in here, man. There, there. Mm -hmm. Fucking great. This is really good, man. Mm -hmm. Fine. What the fuck? I'm still here walking around if you a demon. See? I don't believe it. Not at all. I'm shoot my shit. I'll never miss it. I hit my target. Yeah, yeah. And it go no quick. I'm the wrong nigga to start with. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you hate because you don't feel safe in your own apartment. I know why you hate, you know you lame, you know you ball. Check it up. Yeah, I see the fucking you niggas, I know that's common. Uh. The money can't change how a bitch nigga started. Check it up. End up making threats, yeah. stop up paying homage. Shot. Caught for possession, I feel like Sarah McLaughlin. Hey, <laughs> shout out to the Canadians. Pretty socks, big blocks, bitch, I'm with the nonsense. What about that shit you said that year when I was broke? And what about buying a ticket to get beat up at my show? The opposition's sick of me, tired, nervous, and broke. You thought that I forgot, but bitch, I'm never letting go. This is a fucking great chorus. Really yeah. good chorus, man. I like how he puts these snares every just yeah throw these parts yeah god god ooh we got part two some reason I know the name Kimbra I don't know heard that before That had such a nice flow to it. Mm -hmm. That whole first part. The whole first part was just so. It was very linear for a JPEG. But very, it, but very, in a very good way. In a great way. You know what's great about this? It's got these elements that I like, and these elements that push my musical boundaries a little bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm liking the synths and all that. And then it's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I don't know. I never know where he's going to go. Like, like, listen to that echo. Somebody walking up fucking stairs. Yeah. Hey. Let's do that again. Here in the chair move. Yeah. The creaking of the piano stool. Very, very cool. I you know, I don't know if that is intentional or if that was what but but having that sound. The out in the outro in the outro just here with the yeah. with Kimber and JPEG and somebody's playing the piano. I don't know if it's a sample or but but adding the creaking to the to the to the bench. 
it's done in a way that's fucking very cool because, and I don't know if this is intention or, but when you add two people to a piano bench, it yeah. adds more weight. Weight, yeah. So it gives me the vision that they're, they're both, both sitting, sitting side by yeah. side working out the parts. Yeah. That, I don't know if it was intentional, um, yeah. but I'm assuming uh, even if it wasn't intentional, he yeah. probably heard it afterwards yeah. and was yeah. like, that's cool. Let's or do, or that. no, do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe like maybe that piano was played by somebody else, and then and then he added in a squeaky. Yeah, it's possible. I, I'm, I actually don't know. Or if it happened real. And, yeah, it might have been you know just completely live. Uh, yeah, and all that was just put at the end. And they put a bunch of weight um, on the be- on the on the but, piano. Bench. But the the main the main part of the track, the the beef of the track, really fucking uh, good, solid, really uh, really good, track. really cool with the synths and yeah. and that chorus. So very catchy for a chorus that's just yeah. him spitting some bars. Yeah. Um, I like that track a lot. You know, a, a little fucking cool shout out. Caught for Possession, I feel like Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> I got to look at that because there's a connection to this album here. Um, there's a reference to the song Sarah McLaughlin's Possession. JP Mafia is known to smoke weed frequently. It's possible that he's referencing a time when he was caught or arrested by the police for possession of a control. And then referencing her song. Reference her song. Sarah McLaughlin is on... Network Records. Ah, we which, got little connections. Which everywhere. Reese's? Which is that, that album? Reese's album was on, was Network, on Record. Network Records. Interesting. Little, little, little. Where's she? Is she from here? Like Vancouver? Vancouver. She's originally from like back east, Newfoundland, or no? Oh, okay, but, but she, she's based here. Yeah, yeah, because I know she's got her school here, right? Yeah, Sarah McLaughlin School. Yeah, you know, I I sat by her at the place called the Town Pump mm-hmm. she, before she blew up. Pub I was her pump. What pump or pub? Pump, pump, the town, town pump. pump. The okay. town pump was such a great venue in Gastown. Then it turned into, like, uh, just uh, I remember at the time, at the I was like, what the fuck? Is the, why would you take live music out and put a guy with a fucking record, like just DJ dancing? Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, you took. And now you, now everybody in the city wants live music, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. live music venues. But I was at the kitchen, so you're. St- I pretend I'm at the. Um, my back is facing an open door, six yeah. foot door, stainless door. And with the two swingers, yeah, right, no, yeah, not like two swingers, <laughs> but no, Sarah, Sarah was right here, and the stage is straight through, right, yeah, and then the kitchen's here, and then you have like, then the rest of the bar goes that way, really, really deep. Mm-hmm. So it was a really weird place to listen to a show because most of the seats were that, that way, way, yeah, and the stage was facing the kitchen, right. Interesting. Did you you chat with her? Or no, no, I just looked at her and I was like, wow, she's really pretty, and I know I know her from. One, the, one of the, the big videos at the time that yeah, I forget the name of the song but it was an indie one it was on Much Music like crazy and yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah. oh fuck that's Sarah McLaughlin so. Sarah McLaughlin she's relatively well known would you say like she's a pretty uh, oh, household she's, name oh yeah look at the number just say just what she's streaming now probably I don't know if she's streaming as much now Sarah McLaughlin is pretty well known yeah. well, for people that don't know her she's a singer from when was her original like uh, not come up, but when was she most relevant? I'd uh, say, was it I, well, early, early 2000s? Early 2000s, probably, yeah. And then she did the big, I don't know if you know, she did the big, the, the world tour, I think yeah. maybe North, the Lilith, the Lilith Fair. Mm-hmm, the Lilith yes. Fair had all the female artists on it, and it was such a big tour, and um, there was, I forget, you could look at the names of who was, <clears> like, look back now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right probably now. Probably Joni Mitchell, I'm gonna guess. Uh, let's see here, let's see, uh, I'll just pick up one of the shows. Uh, Lilith, I put Licchiati. Sarah. Okay, nineteen ninety. So you're bang on. So Sarah McLaughlin, uh, Liz Fair, Maya, Cheryl Crow, Sixpence, Nunda Richer. Uh, yeah, she's, she's only got two million listeners. That's why I just wanted to double check. Yeah, yeah. with Viewers, because I, I know she's here at, at Canada. Everybody knows Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm wondering if she's like a worldwide phenomenon because Angel. That song was in fucking every dog commercial. Yeah, you remember well, that? No, she was she was on like big in the U.S. Like she had a fucking her tours were huge. Yeah, but you do you remember that commercial? Yes, with the SBCA. I can't I can't watch it. It's sad. It's like dogs that are abandoned, cats that in are the abandoned. Arms of an angel. angel. Yeah, that song traumatizes me because I yes. can't. I only think of animals. I know. I, it was. I, she probably made money. Uh, given that song to the whatever if it was it SBCA yeah. or something, yeah, um, maybe not SBCA, but whichever company. But uh, she's ruined the song for me. Yeah, I can't. Listen. I can't listen to it. Yeah, it's a sad, a sad dog. soundtrack. Sarah McLaughlin, Cheryl Crow, Dixie Chicks, Queen Latifah, Liz Fair, uh, Nora Jones. Like it was, it was a big there, tour. Is there a Joni Mitchell? I I called. I said I'm going to guess Joni Mitchell. No, no. She, Susan Tedeschi. She didn't want to participate. No, but Susan Tedeschi. 
she married the fucking slide player. Um, uh, oh, that you know? No, super famous. Oh, I know who she is. Sarah, Sarah was. This was prior to her marrying Derek Trucks. Oh, Derek Trucks is one of the greatest slide, slide guitar guitars, players. Yeah. He's fantastic. And now he has a, he has a he has a he has an album. Uh, he has a band together. I think there's 14, 12, 15 people. It's called Trucks Tedeschi. And it's fabulous, man. If you're into slide guitar and good vocals, check it out. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, track 15. It's a flame emoji. Oh, wow. You were opening the wrong app. Oh, yeah. I opened I opened something I shouldn't have opened. Chatterbait. Chatterbait. I don't know why you have the app. Kissy face emoji? No, flame emoji. Oh, I got kissy face emoji with a flame. Oh, then that might be it. Let me, can I see? Because I know it's the, this is, album is is complicated. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's complicated, Dad. Um, yeah, that should be it. Flame and then kissy face emoji. Um, okay, because I guess I think it had a different name. It was okay done differently. I don't know something. There's two versions of this album, and it's a little complicated. But okay. anyway, I think you're on the right track. <laughs> Thank you. Track fifteen. Flame emoji. Those snaps right there remind me of Doom, eh? Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, well, premiere. The cartoon stuff. Yeah, yeah. Batman. No, what? Wow. One deep in the back. Black man can depend on sympathy. I feel like hip hop drop put a hit on me. Pussy niggas put me in a box. A little and repo. These beats keep coming in kilo. Twist style make a feel like man Tio. In this game, the police use cheat codes. Huh. I feel like I just made a case. Hold it for style in my other hand. If you've been here, why you relate? They feed it, my kids on the government. Baby Reagan, I'm cracking the, the case. Trickle down, get the shit on my chest. Bang, step on the stage. I'm just fire beat. <laughs> You know what? If you played this for me, I would not think. This part right here, I would, oh, you would think it would be different, like a band or something. Yeah, no I would. To relax. On the road, I'm a redhead stranger. You know I gotta keep the smoke for the haters. You know all leaders to be with these majors. Conceal. No faces. No case. No deal. My bacon. New can't New heal. This flavor better get so real. Uh, I feel like I just beat a case. Whole different style of my other hand. If you've been here while you're related. My kids, I think government, baby Reagan, I'm cracking the case. Trickle down, get the shit on my chest. Look at that stop, eh? Yeah. It's like. Do you see how this record can be intimidating when you look at the track list and you see it's yeah. like 20 tracks long? Yeah. But as you get into it, you realize it's like it all just kind of works together. Yeah, yeah. Like we're all we're close to the end and it doesn't feel like it's been a long time. Not at all, man. That's the short the two uh, two minutes yeah right see i like quantity over especially in the bedroom <laughs> I, I say to your mom you know what do you want like four in a day in two minutes yeah or do you want the whole eight, eight minutes? minutes all at once yeah and you prefer the the 
more it keeps things fresh <laughs> yes yes i guess i guess <laughs> that beat was fire that track was really really good um there was a, a, a spot there where i'm like if you would have after after veteran and you would have just played me that and you would have went oh that's that's peggy i would have went nah no, it's not. that can't it's, be that's a different band that's, that's some a, experimental yeah but it was really band. really cool really really cool and it's crazy that little again that that I'm going to I'm going to have this fucking beat flowing and you're going to be in and then yeah right but still make it work and, still not, make it and work. not be too shocking like no. I, I think of uh you know uh, what's it called the, we just did uh, the last record we did uh, I don't give a fuck uh, with Yeet and Drake yeah you know where it comes in like piano and yeah. sax and yeah, then yeah. just boom the Benny X beat. that's the one that blew my balls right yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah you were like what the fuck it felt like a slap in the face mm-hmm. like to me that's too much as much as I like the the yeet part yeah, yeah I don't mind Drake on that track I don't like the beginning because yeah yeah I feel like it doesn't fit it doesn't serve a purpose yeah, yeah JPEG yeah. will do these quick switches into different yeah, uh, yeah. you know parts of the beat but they feel seamless and, yeah yeah and even, yeah even when they're not seamless and they yeah, kind yeah. of shock you a bit yeah it's like a good kind of shock they work they yeah. re- they do they do really work and and I never thought I'd be a guy for changing tempos like like how he Randomly, does, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, we're, we're oh fuck, that that doesn't work, like whatever. But it it fucking he makes it work. It, it feels good. I like this. This I like. I really really like this project. Um, uh, I don't want it to end at this moment because well, I could just really listen to music all day today. We got like four tracks left, or five. So, track sixteen, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so fast. Could you see this? How how this would be fun at a show? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. got to go to a special i don't i get i get where he, i get his feel like what he feels you know it might be a, this might be a bold statement but I, i'm just gonna say because i'm I, it's in my head but i feel like jpeg mafia is like a futuristic J dilla like if i know you don't know much of, yeah you i don't, don't know, know much, much of his yeah. production but i feel like he's J dilla from like 20 30 yeah or yeah or something like that yeah, yeah. you know because <laughs> it gives me the same feel that i get with jay dill yeah like the unpredictability and stuff Okay. So that's an instrumental track. That's an instrumental track. I, I just want to say what you, what, what you, I want to elaborate on what you said there. Um, is that, yes, that would be, I can totally see how that would interact with the crowd 
and it would be fucking mad because they'd be saying all the chants and yeah, doing... if they know, especially if they know the record and yes. they've like listened to it in and out and yeah. they've, they've memorized it, you yeah. know. And then his fans are passionate, so, so a, they a live know show that whole would be thing. so fun. Yeah. yeah, and then having said that, is like um, there's the difference between. Uh, this is for me to explain to my buddy who's who's new to hip hop is that there is a connection between the artist and the hip hop fan that is I don't see in other music. Mm-hmm. And I will say it in this way is that the artist does it for the fan and the fan does it for the artist in hip hop. They're giving back to each other. They're giving other. back to each other the in energy. The energy. And they're they're <clears throat> they're I've I witnessed it with you uh, at a like, young age. At a young age. And, yeah. So you know, you go to a concert and I go see Brian Adams, everybody goes, Summer of sixty nine, and they're singing it, right? Yeah. They're singing along with it. But it's not I don't it's not that thing that like it's like I could hear that right there. They're just going back and forth. And yeah. there's something about watching 17,000 or 5,000 people recite fucking 480 yeah. words yeah. in three minutes. Just going the whole thing. You know, well, have you watched the video? I don't know if you've seen it, um, which I could play it right now. Um, logic? No, not oh. Logic. Um, but the, the viewers won't see it, but you guys will know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. And you can hear it. Um, which actually, you don't even see it either. I'll just play okay. it. Okay. Um, While he's pulling this up, hope you guys are okay. This is my third cup of tea today. Fourth cup of tea. I'm going to be really twitchy. Hope I, you... I found this absolutely wild. Okay, who is this? Uh, this is Kendrick Lamar performing. Yeah. I don't know where this is. Let's see. I'm going to say in Europe. No, Columbus. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> performing humble. Okay. Um, but he doesn't really perform it. He doesn't need to. Listen to this. That's loud and crazy. You should see the the video actually. So let me just quickly turn it. Yeah. That's crazy. Look at him, he just... That's it. Everybody's... Look at that! <laughs> Fuck. That must be unbelievable for the artist and for the fan. Wow. <laughs> so that's what you're talking about, right? Yes. In terms of like, you know, it's different, you know, Brian Adams show and there are people are singing Summer 69 over this where they're rapping the whole second verse. Yeah. F- word for word. And then he's, then he comes in for the chorus and boom, yeah. boom, boom. And yeah, just, yeah. Uh, no, you, you don't get that from pop. Like maybe you'll get somebody to, 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 to call back a line, right? Yeah. Like, I got my first reel. 
I got my six first string. Yeah, yeah, and all that shit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do that with Brian Adams. I got my first real six string. Yeah. And then that would be, and then you do it a couple of times and it's boring, right? Yeah, yeah. But and I've seen that where he does and, 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 and the whole crowd goes, Yeah, I got my first real six string. Oh, right? Yeah. But they it's it's different. It's it's a different feeling, right? With altogether. Hip-hop. Anyway, we'll keep yep. going. Uh, BMT is the next track. BMT. I'm gonna guess that is I you know what? I don't want to do that anymore because I did Canadian dick lift. Yeah, and you were totally wrong. Yeah, okay. it was commercial driver's license. <laughs> track seventeen. BMT. Oh ba- a basic military training. Okay. That's feet, right? I take it? Yeah. Marching? That's cool. Where's this sample from? I know this one. Is this till I collapse sample? It doesn't say anything. Maybe it does. Or is it I collapse sampled this. I don't know uh, and yeah, where it's cool. actually from, but I know the. This is heavy bottom stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just fuck your bass, fuck that harness, fuck them planes, fuck your music, fuck them chains, fuck your videos, fuck your face. Everything that y'all do is fake. Everything that I do get hate. I tell the wolves I'll be no play. My bulldogs gon' get your face. I like that bitch. Yeah, that shit don't make me feel no type of way. Only your city get no type of hate. None. All them threats I'm fake. Hey, niggas get shot every day. Making pain. I just want the hate. I just want your place. place. I gave it up to God, and God gave me this kick. Make it shake. Wait, I'm tired of dodging fate. It's so many niggas I hate. It's so many niggas I can't. Fuck. Making this bitch for the sin the case. I'm gonna grab it, don't be in my face. Keep going, I'm sweating the hate. I love the flap of this. It sounds like the flap of the speaker. Yeah. Because you're pushing that the, so hard. The woofer so hard. You know? Yeah, not a song that you would probably want to introduce someone to hip hop with, but once you're in. Yeah, yeah. Once you're in, you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,. That track's dope. That was a lot of fucking injury, and, and that the, the grindy, the grindiness of it really. You, th- the grinding is the, the name of this thing's like basic Military training, right? Training, yeah, yeah. So you, it really feels like you're grinding. Yeah, it starts with the, with the feet, and then <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't even fucking check the lyrics out too much. I just listened to it. It was really, yeah. really cool. Well, that's what I do a lot with, uh, with yeah. JPEG. Is all first few listens, I'll, yeah. I'll kind of go in for the feel. I've noticed because. Um, He's a he's a great lyricist, but uh, it's hard to do both at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least for my my goldfish, uh, small yeah, 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 brain yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not able to multitask. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I like to uh, to just go in with for the you know the feeling. Yeah. Uh, get the energy, and then later on further listens, I'll dive deeper into, into the, the lyrics, the lyrics yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, I, we had a comment, uh, and you know who you are on Patreon that said. Uh, you know, Kevin's missing stuff when he's reading the lyrics. And, it, you know, it, to be fair, yes, there is. But it, it's, 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 a, it's a balance. You're sort of, you're listening and you're reading. You don't want to be completely just no. stuck on the phone reading every lyric. Then you miss out on yeah, what's yeah. happening. But when I'm scrolling here, there's a lot of times I'm not really, I'm not taking those lyrics in. No, you're just reading them so you, you know, kind of follow along. Yeah, no, but there, there'll be, I'll miss chunks, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm fucking grooving on something and yeah. then I'll just scroll. As long as I'm in time, I'll catch a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I'm really into the lyrics, I'll make sure that the lyrics, I'm, you know, it's one of these ones that you well, say. We, we, I showed you the 100 shots one and you were 
into all the lyrics. Well, yeah. no, you didn't even have the lyrics. No, you I, were just listening. I, you know what? That's that's what I liked about that track so much. It was easy to follow. It yeah. was. It, 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 first off, his voice was fucking killer, right? Yeah, yeah. And then and it, he was he wasn't spitting so fast that I was lost. Yeah. And I could I was like you're getting I'm, every word. Maybe that's that's a part of it. It it started so it, it started slow slow and and, and clear. Kind of guided you and to, guided me to this. And I heard all the lyrics. There was shit I missed at the end once it when it picks up. Yeah, but the, in the beginning. Yeah, and it was like fuck. I feel like I feel all right. <laughs> I feel pretty good. Okay, we got three tracks left. I'm just gonna double check. Uh, I'm breaking the fourth wall again. Like, so oh yeah, yeah. Um, but don't you? Don't we always break the fourth wall? Yeah, I check it sometimes. Um, but that's breaking the fourth wall there. Like, well, no, just for them because they think the album is there. Oh, that's yeah, right. So then I walk through it. Oh, well, that's oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, so sorry for walking through the album there because I don't have it on vinyl. And even the ones we do have on vinyl, we haven't been putting them there because it's just a pain in the ass to get it on focus. It's better yeah, to yeah. do it uh, in editing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, track 18, The Ghost of Ranking Dread. Hmm. It's got a feature on it. Oh my god, it almost sounds a little bit of reversing, eh? Yeah. It's hard to... <laughs> You know, it, 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 Peggy never auto tunes, does he? No, he does. Does he? Yeah, yeah. 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 I just I'm go and I think I'm listening. Call up the minister, something just ain't adding up. But lines and levels ain't meant to be jiggy. Tower Hill, they say meant to be pretty. Niggas named after bacon soda, but he never touched no fucking coke in your sack. She's so thick, hit that bitch with a fastball and make more fuck for an image. Heard your take, but I didn't get a mention. Last year, bitch, I'll be the sentence. That's what these hoes just want the attention. Stop talking, I see you blur your face for the gram. I blur your face for forensics. With the star, bitch, I'm Jimi Hendrix. With this shit, I'm Eddie Henry. Wait, Hendrix, man. Great. Fuck, I love the rattlesnake. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Wow. He's got some heavy fucking drop D harmony stuff going guitar. Whoa. That's what I was fucking with last night, remember? Yeah, like, yeah, you were. from that horn fucking swell yeah that's a, that's one of his more focused tracks i'd say like yeah, in terms yeah. of like linear uh not going off to yeah 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 there's been a couple the, on here like that there's been two I yeah, think, yeah. Like two or three yeah yeah um but yeah that no that one's dope um yeah the next one is uh 
Damn, damn, damn. I don't remember this one exactly. Uh, I do remember the last track, but uh, damn, 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 I haven't listened to this since, I don't know, because once we get to towards the end of the album. I'll read about it. It says, damn, damn, damn is the 19th song off this album. I, okay. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> That's as, much, as much as we got. <laughs> track 19, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Oh, wow. This sounds like the trombone setting on a DX7 Yamaha. Interesting. You should, you should tweet at him, ask him if that's what it is. Yeah. Or no, it could be a Roland JV1080. I fucked with this shit a lot. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for some. Oh, I love the panning. Some of you niggas ain't like that. So I, I can't, I can't ever say nothing to you. You know, I just gotta sum you up. Some great bars in this, man. Really good. Gucci man, I think I love her. Yeah, Danny Swain, I think I love her. Yeah, big nose in that pussy. Feel like Andre Iguodala. Yeah, the money put me in a trance. Wait, the label got me nudging stamps. Wait, I need way more than that for an advance. Oh yeah, play with my money, shit won't go as planned. Gotta take more shots, get a good lead. Keep taking them shots, a little bit of lead. I like that. Work like little Steve. Working all day, I'll take no sick leave. And my sleep here quick beats. Fucking great chorus. Yeah. Fucking catchy, catchy chorus. Very catchy. The bars are catchy. The bars are catchy, yeah. I fucking love that he keeps the rings in the hi hats. Yeah. That's a fucking great track. Yeah. Great track. I love the taking. I love the taking shots, man. Um, I love the. I love the intro to the track. That it doesn't, you know, add to the track later. It's just to start it off with that. Yeah, yeah. Him fucking around on what machine did you say? I was just, no. I was just saying it sounds like it sounds like, like, it sounds a, like a like a one of the a Yamaha DX seven or, or a, a JV ten eighty. I got the module in there. That JV ten eighty. Yeah. Remember? I wanted to hook it up because it's got all these fucking Amazing great sounds, sounds, right? Yeah. And I got a couple expansion cards in there, and they got these fucking really crazy sounds. That, and the good thing about that, it's not a it's not a VST, right? It's like mm -hmm. a in in the plugins. Yeah. It's fucking hard. So when you go, it's a really I good find it sound. to be a really clear signal, right? Cl uh, yeah, like a clean sound. Clear. It's, yeah, it's really fat, right? If we could ever get that fucking thing hooked up, gotta take more shots. Gotta get a little good lead. Gotta, uh, keep rim. taking them shots till the rim, rim bleed. bleed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, till I succeed work hard like little steve i'm not sure who little steve is do you know who little steve is no uh this is a reference to the song bitter fruit by little stevens uh the the track tells the story of a person and his family who were 
exploited by a distant company. The company takes the fruit of his and his family's labor while America remains distant. I, you know, I, one thing I like about uh, the lyrics on this record, at least twice that we've dove into them uh, in terms of like references, is uh, he'll reference not like an artist be like, you know, I'm uh, whatever, I'm like saying i'm trying to think of an Dolph? artist ex- example no, no the Dolph thing was cool but I'm, I'm thinking of like okay uh what did drake say the other day uh uh like it was it was something basic like i keep it asap uh, I, I get whatever i'll make up a line but yeah, this yeah. is what drake would say yeah uh, <laughs> i i uh no you don't have to throw okay. me but like it would be like i, I do shit asap like i'm rocky you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, that would yeah. be the the artist reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I like what JPEG's doing is like the Sarah McLaughlin one. Like he referenced one of her songs about po- called Possession. Yeah, when yeah. He's talking about his getting caught with possession of of marijuana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in this track here, he said he's referencing Little Steve, which is not directly referencing him. It's referencing a song, song. that is taught that talks about you know working hard and being exploited. So he's on working like Little Steve. Yes, yes. So it's yes, not yes, like yeah, these yeah. direct quick references yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. able to get easily yeah, yeah. like you do have to do a little digging digging yeah, yeah which i think is great i love that yeah well that's that's one of the fuck my favorite things off mf food like the food oh, oh yeah mf doom just his in general his in, stuff. yeah his stuff yeah i gotta think about it i'm like i thought like again i thought it was gonna be burritos and he's like i like burritos i like burritos no I mean, like, no like yeah the it, food record was totally it was like yeah poo-poo yeah. platter and all that was like yeah that's fucking yeah I, and then you go deep oh my god this is about stuff yeah this is about yeah, yeah deep yeah, fried yeah. friends was like yeah, so many great tracks yeah. on there. But we'll go to the final track here. It's called Untitled. Um, Unmastered. Yeah. <laughs> track number 20, Untitled. He can uh, emphasize this. When it's cold outside, get up in the office. You feel it angry without him oh, being forceful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Without, without being super angry. Yeah, yeah no, I get it. Yeah, right? It's... I'm an alcoholic. Gotta keep my hair lined on Candace Owens. Kevin Owens. Real nigga fucking token. Melatonin. Nigga sleeping on the moment. At me a late night with the clock loaded. Joe Button with a pump when I ain't focused. Nigga, how you never miss when the whole world is home? Joe Button can't remember. Think I got a phone. Joe Biden can't remember. Think I got a phone. He got dumped. Yeah. There's a line I think you'll like on this track. Oh, young PK Subban. Yes. <laughs> Great final line. Yeah, I, you know what? I was, I was, it was going so fast. I missed the PK. I'm right. I'm gonna be swinging on these crackers like I'm playing hockey. Young PK, PK Subban with, with the stick, stick on me. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. I thought you would. Yeah. I thought you would like that line because uh, 
How, we don't get hockey references in songs often. Not a lot of much. basketball, a lot of a lot of football. Yeah. Um. Sometimes soccer. Uh, yeah. Or football in in the UK. Yeah. Um. But hockey, you think? hockey, it's rare. The last yeah, one yeah. I can think of is on her loss. Where yeah, Drake yeah. says I'm skating on y'all like a Montreal Canadian. Yeah. Um, hey, but we got Sarah McLaughlin and we got um, <laughs> PK Subban. PK Subban and we got some hockey hockey reference. So yeah, that's pretty good. Really, really fucking really cool project. It really it opened with trust, and I thought that was gonna be like it the was full sound. It was gonna be the full sound, but he tricked me. Yeah, 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 but there was a lot of linear songs that that were not what I would think of from veteran, right? Yeah, like, veterans very different. And corn balls, right? Like, you haven't heard corn balls yet, but no, not corn balls. Um, uh, hose, scaring the host. Scaring the yeah, yeah, yeah. scaring the host. Yeah, no, yeah. It, uh, it's a uh, it's a really cool project. Yeah, it's it's kind of all over the place, but also very cohesive. Yeah. Um. It, our word, our two words were what? Uh, organized chaos. Organized chaos. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Um, in, in the best possible. way. I was way. just gonna say yeah, that's not it. In it's like, like organized chaos. That it, like it, it really is that way. You you feel it. It's like you're it's going off and and you really you never know. You're driving in this fucking area down south somewhere, fucking. Florida or something like that. You've never been where Canadians were driving and you're down the thing and then oh, we're down weird turns and, and we don't know and, where we're going. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good it. analogy to yeah, put it. It like really that. is. It's like I, we don't know. Like we don't I have mean, that's how that's how we go into every project really when yeah. when we're uh you know going in blind like uh you know when we did Utopia we both like, yeah it felt like we were driving through a city we don't know and we're taking turns. Yeah. But this feels like you're driving through a city that you don't know and you took a tab of acid. <laughs> yes, yeah. Or or you know what? It could it for me if this could have been like me driving around last night in your fucking game. In GTA. Yeah, yeah. yeah like <laughs> yeah. driving around and going down in cars and you yeah, know, all yeah, that kind of chaos shit. Chaos and shit. Yeah. yeah, little short spurts, right? But I love you know what? It was very, very, very easy to to digest in the two minute, two twelve, two fifteen increments, right? Yes, yeah. That well yeah, if the tracks were like seven minutes long, yeah. Um, it would be tough because there'd be so much going on and then so much to talk about at the end. Yeah. Um, where you'd forget about half the track and you would That's be a able that's to a really good it. point. Yeah. But with this it's like so much happens in two minutes, but you're able to summarize it and talk about it afterwards. Yeah. And it, it's uh this is a record I recommend you give a re-listen straight through. Yeah. Um, not that it has like transitions like like a record like Mad Villainy or anything. Yeah. But it's just one of those records that uh yeah, front to back, it flows very nicely and it's uh it's fun to listen to without pausing because we yeah. you know, we stopped and talk talked about every track. Yeah. Um I, I don't think this is an album that I will listen to this will be an album I listen to. I put it on occasionally. No, no, not just occasionally, but well, probably occasionally. But I'll sit with with six beer. Yeah, and I'll put it on in front of the speakers. Yeah, and not have. I'm not. It's not going to be a passive listen. You no, know what I mean? Yeah, it won't it's be not while a, you're cleaning the house. Yeah, or it's walking not. The yeah, dog. you're not. And then you're like, what the fuck was that? Like, you're, you're going to be focused when you're listening to you, this. And you want to be focused because you have to catch all those things, right? It's. Yeah. It, I think this is an album that you have to do that with. It's and you got to be really focused. And I think I think it would be a absolutely fantastic live experience. Oh yeah, I got I got to see JPEG yeah. live. I'm still. You know, sad that I, uh, you know, it's not his fault he got sick at that show. Yeah. Uh, and he wasn't able to perform. Uh, or I, I don't know, actually, I don't know if he got sick or if there's another reason. But he wasn't able to perform. He was supposed to be the opener. Yeah. Uh, which is crazy to think about. He was opening for, for Injury Reserve. That's like people's dream lineup now. Like, yeah. Like, uh, you know, because they were, I, w I don't want to say they were like super underground at that point, but. They weren't, uh, you know, huge, uh, especially like Injury Reserve was not, I think they were, this was before their uh, self-titled record. So it was, it would have been 2017 maybe. Um, yeah, small venue though, come on. Wow. Small venue and, and it was, uh, it wasn't sold out and it was for their, for their 2016 EP, Drive It Like I Stole It. That's what they were performing a lot of and, yeah. and their older stuff. Uh, but... It was early on, and uh, it, like people would fucking die to have those two. Like, yeah, at this point, if they did, you know, say if injury reserve, I know they still made a record uh, after the after Grog's passed away. Yeah, uh, but like if they were to go on tour, it would be a it would be a dual like a double headlining tour. Yeah, like, yeah. It wouldn't be a J JPEG opening than yeah. injury reserve. Uh, yeah, yeah. They would be on the same level. Like they're both. The both artists are so huge yeah. now in the uh, the hip hop 
sphere. Yeah, yeah. If I, um, I want to ask you, throw something your way. If if I just made you right now and said, okay, we got a budget, and I I want you to make a, uh, you're a promoter tomorrow. Yeah. We you got to put together a show. We're gonna do it at the PNE Forum, and we we want it in the vein of uh, like this. The alternative hip hop, hip hop stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. So you injury reserve, JPEG. Who else should you say? You got you got a couple. Like, well, I wouldn't I wouldn't do injury reserve just because uh, without Grogs, I don't know if they. Yeah, I think yeah. they've done some shows, so maybe I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. I, I would. Well, who would you put on this list? It's, I would definitely do uh, Danny Brown and JPEG as okay. like kind of a duo. Yeah, yeah. Um, the same way with uh, with Tyler's music festival coming up, he's got uh, the Hillbillies, or I think that's what they're called. Oh, is that what they're called? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Kendrick and Keem. Oh yeah, that's Keem. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, I would do that with, with scaring the hose and have uh, Danny Brown and, and Jay. Would you Pink. have them come out at separate points too? I think so. Well, I'd let them do a set together. I think that would be the main set. Okay, yeah. That, yeah. that would be the, 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 yeah, the bread and butter, the big set that comes in. So that end. would be at the end of the show. The, the end of the show, because they could do their stuff together and yeah. they could also do their separate, you know, their yeah. biggest songs. I'm separately. having fun listening to this because <laughs> I, I want to know what other artists you'd put on this. Um, then I would probably go with. Uh, yeah, I don't know about injury reserve. I don't know what they would be like live without grogs because all yeah, this, yeah. all their stuff. The newest record, you know, it's not. Uh, it's you know after his death, but uh, all the older stuff has. You know, he's got a verse on every song, like yeah, mostly. Yeah. So, oh, shit. I don't know what uh, yeah. what they would do. Uh, I would so pr- I probably know to injury reserve, uh, even though it, it would hurt. So to, we got JPEG, to do that. Danny. We got JPEG, Danny opening the show. Uh, not open. <laughs> oh, close the show. The show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> um, in in this this alternative hip hop space. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'd probably go with an artist like uh, you know, I'd go with like Earl and the Alchemist. I put them yeah, as a duo yeah. as well that come out. Any bones? Um. You no. know what? I don't know if he if he would fit in. No, he's in a kind of a different crowd. You yeah. know, I, I like him. He's kind of with like the Xavier Wolves, uh, yeah. Suicide Boys, the, okay, that, yeah, Sesh Hollow Water Boys. Um, so I don't know if they would they would totally mesh. I okay, know, I, I know Earl and that would probably go well with JPEG and yeah, Danny. Yeah. Uh, maybe Action Bronson. Um, maybe uh, I don't know about clipping. I don't. I, I don't know enough clipping, uh, to be honest. I only know one record, so I couldn't say. Uh, maybe maybe Red Veil. Um, yeah. Like as a you know one of the starters. Starters, because yeah, I yeah. know he's he's on the come up and he's got some good stuff. He's got a song with JPEG. Yeah. Um, really good debut project. Oh, see, that's a good connection there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be one someone I'd put yeah. up there. Uh, you on guitar, I'd let you go. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You could play. Do Who some, would I play with? You'd play with yourself. Play with myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd start. Yeah, yeah. No guitar. Playing yeah, with get yourself. the get the yeah <laughs> get the crowd. Uh, Charlie XEX for sure. I know she's not hip hop, but I'd uh, you know we'd spend half the budget on getting her there. Yeah. Um, just because yeah I, yeah, I yeah. would like to just see her. Well, perform. you're it's the budgets the budgets tight. So I'm just saying like you're gonna have to work some magic to get all these guys because we got a budget of like eight like, bucks. And two double cheeseburgers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we got a couple of weed beers in the yeah, fridge. In the fridge, THC beers. No, uh, if you had to pick a fe- make a festival right now, uh, not underground hip hop, not like in the style of JPEG, but just hip hop festival. Say it's a bigger budget, and you can, you know, it's uh, you're doing it at Pemberton or somewhere in Squamish. Oh, big! You, yeah, you got a big budget. Um, so you got to pick some big artists. Who who are you bringing in? Like, give me like three or four. Okay, uh, you know like what? Headliner. Who's going to headline for you? He- headline's going to be for me is going to be is going to be Kendrick. Kendrick. Okay. Kendrick's going to he's he's finishing the show. Yeah, he he would and he would bring in anybody. Like yeah. people would. Yeah, that would that's already you've already sold out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by having Kendrick there, people are buying tickets. Yeah, and then uh, I I would bring in I would ha- I'd have to bring in um, at some point of the show. I've, one of my favorites right now, producers, and I don't know how this would work though. I don't know how he would do it, but Metro Boomin. Oh yeah, well he he does live stuff, I'm sure. But and how does he bring Dawn on and everybody? I don't know. I, I, I Travis, I, you know what I mean? You could, 
Well, okay. You just say he's, you have him there for a DJ set or something. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just say you have that. So you got Kendrick, Metro. Yeah, so you know, Metro. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll have, Kendrick's going to finish the show, right? Yeah. Metro's going to... You would want to, you know, if you're going to pick Metro, do what I did with my festival thing where I said Earl and the Fuck, Alchemist. You're ruining my festival over here. No, no, I'm just joking. Yeah. So, you know how I did Earl and the yeah, Alchemist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do Metro and somebody. Who would you bring Metro with? You know what? I If we're... If, if, unlimited budget... I don't know if I'd bring. I'd probably bring Don Tolliver. Tolliver yeah, yeah, I'm I a big. Gonna, I was gonna say Don. I'm a fan of uh, Heaven and Hell, and and I'm looking forward to him. And he's he's you see he's creating a lot of buzz. Yeah, he's filling up shows, and uh, he would be he would be really really good. Um, and then I would bring somebody from the UK. Uh, we're gonna work our way. I'd probably ask uh, Little Sims to come Little to the Sims. show. Okay, so let's go with like Metro Boomin and Dom, uh, Don 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 uh, Don. Uh, Little Sims would probably be the the opening set. Uh, then you have Metro. She'd Boomin. open, yeah, yeah. You got Kendrick at the top. Uh, who would be like your second? The second, my second your, tier, second before the headliner. You know what? I'm gonna swap this over. Okay, if I can do this, it's, okay. Sims is starting the show. Yes. Then we're gonna do Metro Boomin mm-hmm. and and Dawn Tolliver. Yeah. And then we're gonna go from Carolina. We're gonna bring in J Cole. Oh, okay. So you're gonna have J Cole and Kendrick. J Cole, and then Kendrick's gonna finish the show. Yeah, that 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 would be. You would probably those tickets would be fucking through the yeah. roof on Ticketmaster. I, you know <laughs> why? I'm, what I'm thinking here is like, okay, okay. I'm I got a, a bit of uh, a, I've got some UK, and she Sims is fantastic. Yeah. You saw her. I yeah. was sick. Yeah, uh, I saw some of the footage. I thought she was fantastic. She's and, great live. And yeah. she'd just open that show up and get it warmed up, and then we would bring uh, Metro on. And Metro would it, just as, as this, this sunset. Yeah, right. just, yeah. Just so and it's, Sims. Yeah. This is summertime. Tatum Sims is coming. In, just, Sims yeah. is coming in around six o'clock. Yeah, and then and then you got Metro booming around seven. Sun's yeah. going down, and it's just that nighttime. You yeah. see, it, it's coming eight, on right. Eight o'clock. You got J Cole come out. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Uh, he does like a forty minute, forty five minute set. Fifty. Yeah. yeah an 50 hour minutes. set. Okay, and you're then, just increasing the yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. That the money goes up. You know. I right? know. I know. But uh, and then you end with Kendrick. And, yeah. And you got to have Cole come out at some point in the Kendrick set. Yes. For something. Yes. And then then at the end of the show, you play. No, the end of the show, everybody comes onto stage, right? And they freestyle over with a little help from my friends from the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a remix or just the instrumental? Just the instrumental. What would you do if I sang so, out of tune and stand do, do, do. up and walk got on me? And then it's like, Sim 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 and then they just go and it's the freestyle and is, is is that a cypher yeah is, is the Beatles song on loop like so yeah just so on they, loop they yeah. each get a turn each get a turn yeah and then, metro. <laughs> what would you do if I sang out of tune yeah Sim 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 yeah, yeah. No, I think that's a good way to end it yeah and then every, the whole crowd goes what would you do and it'll help you know they just yeah. like, right no that's a beautiful way to end the festival and then it's uh, and that's like 11 p.m. and you're done. You fuck, man. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Okay. Anyway, yeah. we'll end the video off here. Yeah. Uh, I had a great time this afternoon. I had a blast this afternoon. This I had a fucking really good time. This is really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed JPEG. Thank you for the album, uh, for making it uh, yeah. and giving us uh, a project for us to have a great time listening to and, yeah. and enjoy on this uh, beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Hump day. Um, yeah. Yes. And uh, we'll see you soon uh, with the. Uh, rest of our reaction set list we've got some stuff planned for october that i'm excited for uh and yeah see you soon guys take care bye bye peace